can I help you? Charles has never had good taste. I don't understand. My name is... Never mind. So you're the chipmunk that's been philandering with Charles. Dirty and unkept thing like you. Excuse me, madam. I, I do not waste time before forgetting my hands on people's faces. So you better shut your fangs and listen. Well, Charles and I have nothing going on. And I think it's wrong of you to speak to your fellow woman in that manner. <laughs> You're not a woman, darling. You're just a bug. That's what you are. I have to go now. If you take one more step, I will deal with you. <laughs> You're a mad woman. Are you ready for Tratu? Are you ready? Make some noise! Now listen, 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 listen. Listen now, it goes like it says. such an ordoniferous human being. Secondly, what has come over you? Why are you doing this to us? You never admit to anything you do. How come? You spent half a million from the two million naira profit we got. Yet, you cannot give an account of what you did with the money. What kind of stupid extravagance was that? Extravagance, you say? Your father is the king of this kingdom, yet this kingdom was in such destitution before my father. 
His Royal Majesty, the one and only Eze Ojadike, stepped in and rescued it. If he didn't, where would you and your poor old man be? On the morning, your swallowing like a babu came as a contract from my father's kingdom. Not as a birthday present from your father. <laughs> Charles. My beautiful name. You, you seem to develop a memory loss at will. Because you seem to have forgotten that this same contract came to this kingdom through my father's influence. So next time, when you open your silly mouth to talk to me, have that at the back of your mind, Charles. Rubbish. They didn't train you well. Don't even have one single respect. That's why I can't talk to anybody anyhow. But one day, I am going to squeeze that mouth so hard. I am going to squeeze it so hard. Very hard. Silly. Mm. I keep wondering the kind of man and husband Prince Charles is. This woman is literally controlling him. Is this how he's going to rule this kingdom when the king dies? Ifoma, you talk a lot. Prince Charles is an astute leader, but his wife, reckless and mannerless. Isn't it obvious she sports milk and buttered child? You don't expect the well-nurtured and mannered prince to share in that lunacy. Hey! Come out there! Come out! Street urchins! So out of all the things there are to do in this palace, what you both do is just sit around and gossip. You like to poke nose into other people's businesses, right? Both of you. New! New! You both will kneel there, come rain or shine. Till nightfall, or whenever I feel like it. Idiots! Vagabonds! Dirty pigs! How dare you! Stay there till I come back. Animals, idiots! Look at them! Vagabonds! Street auctions! Mannerless idiots! Welcome, my prince. Welcome, my prince. I guess this is Pamela's handwork, right? You guys are not talking again. All right. Rise and go back to your duty post. My prince, please. We can't. I said rise! My prince, please, we can't. <laughs> All right. We do not want any more trouble. She said we are going to be here till night falls. Please, I beg you. Let's leave it that way. Please. I see. I will see to that.
What's wrong? Have you been at home? Of course I've been at home. I just came back now. I ran into a former and Adogo, kneeling down under the hot sun, sweating. For what? Why? <laughs> Who else? If not your, your Queen Elizabeth. Who else? Pamela nailed them down under the hot sun. Why? I don't know. Did you free them? I tried to free them, but they refused to be freed. They said she asked them to kneel till nightfall. What nonsense. I don't know. You want to see yourself? <laughs> that was just a total madness. What was he expecting when he married about 35 women from 35 different tribes? I can imagine the kind of uh, war zone he has turned his house into. How do they even feed that five women? Plenty children. <laughs> I, somehow, Dad. Yeah. You see, King Gezu had 150 children and 300 grandchildren. Feeding wasn't an issue. I mean, he was... He had wealth inestimable. <laughs> nah, this is just a total madness. <laughs> What's the problem? Who's chasing you? Talk now, who's chasing you? What is it? Who are you? How dare you budge into my palace in this manner? My sincere apologies, Your Majesty. Oh, Detective Charles. My prince, it's good to see you. What's going on? This is my wife. This woman here drives too recklessly. We need her license seized and her car impounded immediately. How dare you? Do you even know who you're talking I about? I don't give a freaky care about who the hell you are, woman. You ran over a child of seven years old. And you stand before me here to brag about your ID? Like I care. Now you listen to me. Oh my God. Would that have surfaced if we lost the poor boy? Pamela, you ran over someone again today? <laughs> Bravo. This has suddenly surged my interest over this case. She does this all the time, Your Majesty. I'm sorry she has to come with us. Mm. Detective. Your Majesty. The lady you want to take away to your station is the wife of the Crown Prince of this kingdom. The only daughter of the great and mighty King Ojadike. You do not want to incur the wrath of her father. <laughs> this sounds pretty good, Your Majesty, but nobody certainly is above the law. Not even the great king, Ojadike. Your Majesty, she has to come with us. Really? Excuse me, Your Majesty. Sean, sir. Fine, sir. I'm sorry, sir. All right, sir. We'll do just that. Well, detective, I guess you want to take her away now, right? The CP just called that we stand down and then retrieve back immediately. I told you. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. Princess Pamela, this is certainly not the last straw. How dare you? Pamela! Don't you even dare! Come on, you don't you? Eh? Well, um, Detective. Your Majesty. In your best interest, like the CP said, you better stand down. 
we will get words across. And the little child in question will be adequately taken care of. Don't you mind, Justy? That is not even important. Hey! Not now, Pamela. I am. I'm so sorry about that. Please. I'm sorry for that hot flower. Okay? That was too hot. I'm, I'm so sorry about that. Well, that, that, why do you all... You too! What, your mind? I said shut up! What can I go? I need to put in a little more than the nose or you, you're slapping. Please! Please, what? Stop it! I can't even go on my own like that. You're going to see. Bro, Princess Adaka slapping people anyhow. What is what 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 is this? Pamela, we need to talk about this. Did we have any leftovers, Charles? You rolling over a boy. Your reckless lifestyle. Or are they all enough left over? Judge and jury. Am I on a stand? Do you want to judge me? Has it ever occurred to you that you're a royalty? Hmm? And for that reason, you are... Charles, I already know where all this is headed. And as it stands, I'm in no mood for an uncut convo right now. I have my life to live. And so does 8 billion people on this cosmo. So if you're planning on how to teach me to live my life, you better not. Pamela, the only reason you do all this is because my father refused to tell you how sport and unruly you can be. Well, your father is a bit wise. He knows that my father, the great king, or Jadike, will move heaven and earth just to make me happy and your father also knows that both him and his kingdom will be nothing without my father so charles please enough i've had too much for one day Is the problem? Nem, are you still worried about this? I told you that your uncle has promised to Mama, help. Mama, uncle, Okafo makes this promise all the time. Or he never lifts a finger to help anyone. It just pains me that I have to drop out after all this. Namsi, even if your uncle does not help you, I'm certainly sure that you must go back to school. I will do my best. I know, Mama. That is why I've decided to put everything behind me. And just... Help you at the booker until we have enough resources for me to go back. I thought you said you will look for a better job that will pay you. How much do we make from the booker? No, I don't think it's the best option for you now. Don't worry yourself. I haven't changed my plans of looking for a better job. 
But for now, I will assist you at the Buka. It's okay, my daughter. Everything will be fine. Trust me. Um, let me go to the market and buy some things. Maybe later you come to the shop and show me. No problem. Don't bother yourself. It's okay. Okay. Bye, eh? Daddy, see, you, you really need to give me a listen here. We need to talk. Charles, please. Daddy, why do you keep postponing this conversation? Why? It's all right. Let me grant you audience this time. Because I really cannot comprehend what is so itchy about what you want to tell me that you kept pestering me. Okay. All right? Uh, but on the face of it, I want to assume that... Uh, it has to do with the little bickerings uh, from your wife, right? I mean, it has to do with you and your wife. That is not about me and my wife. It's about my wife. You cherish, pamper, and spoil your daughter-in-law so much that what is this all about? That you don't even find fault in anything she does, even when she's doing the worst. Charles. If you have something of inestimable value, you safeguard that thing as if it is your very life. Dad, I know it's all about your relationship, your friendship with Dr. DK, but... You don't know what this is all about. But let me tell you something. Do you know you are very selfish? All you think about is yourself. You don't care the toll that your actions take on others. Father Luke, I know Pamela's father has done immensely for this kingdom. But that does not mean that the whole world will stand still because of that. This girl keep doing some stupid and crazy things. And you never find fault in whatever she does. You keep siding her. Charles. It is not every relationship that you toy with. Your marriage to this woman marked the beginning of good things in this kingdom. So if it takes um, your accommodating some of her bickerings, uh, insignificant, uh, infinitesimal actions that are sometimes I agree um, repugnant, I mean, you just take it. Dad, do you have to call slapping a policeman and running over people on the road infinitesimal? Do you have to... to Enough. Enough of this. I don't want to hear anymore. Everywhere. 
I've warned you to stay away from my issues. Ibube, and I have told you to calm down. You don't resolve issues with violence. By the way, what do you think you can do to her? I want her to tell me who gave her the right to empty hot pot of pepper soup on Chineye. Yes. Ebube, Chineye is still alive. That's the most important thing. Eh? You should be learning how to calm down now. Stop telling me to calm down. Why won't I tell you to calm down? Stop telling me to calm you down. You need to calm down. Because things like this, you don't. You need to treat it with calmness. Not well, be because it's not you that she poured that pepper soup on. You are telling me to calm down. I know it's not me, but then just be calming down. I've warned you to stay away from this issue. What is going on here? Huh? My prince, your wife, Princess Pamela, has pity more than she can chew today. Hey, hey. Talk to me if you want to talk to me. Stop speaking about my wife in that manner. What happened? Uh, your wife, she emptied the plenty hey, pot. I did not ask you. Allow everybody to talk. Okay. My prince. The princess emptied hot pot of pepper soup on China, yeah? What? She did that? Yes, my prince. Thank God she didn't die, but she sustained a lot of injuries. And she might also sustain more scars later. Where is Pamela? Where is she? She should be in her room. Be careful. Okay, calm down. Okay. Come here. Not for what now? Just I'll just empty this food on your head. I'll just empty this pepper soup on your head, wicked Jezebel. How dare you? How dare you pour that hot, hot food on, on, on that poor girl? How dare you? What's the meaning of If not for her, I'll just empty it on your face now. Yeah, try it! Try it! Bastard! Try it! Give your man enough, try it! Try it! Do it! Hey, what is going Do on? Do it, Charles! What is going on here? Your Majesty. Charles? Hit me! And now he's trying to pour this on me. Charles! Mm -hmm. How dare you? How dare you lay your hands on a woman? Daddy, you no, know, that's a lie. Prince Charles here never hits a woman. Were you here? Were you here? Daddy, this lady here emptied a hot pepper soup on Chine. I don't know, uncle. Hot pepper soup. Pamela. <laughs> You did what? Dad, if not that I rushed the poor girl to the hospital, she would have died by now. And I know definitely she's going to sustain a scar she would live to see all the days of her life. All in the name of testing her food. Dad, this lady here. Time ago, I ate food that is this delicious. That was before I lost my mother. Yeah. Oh, so sorry about the loss of your mother. Hmm. It's okay. Thank you, ma'am. Mm. 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 Um, <laughs> that's. I know what you want to say. I'm so sorry about that. I'm so sorry I doubted you, okay? But it won't happen again. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that this was going to be this subnoxious. <laughs> now you know. <laughs> but that doesn't excuse what he did before. Mama, he <laughs> said he's sorry. It's okay. I've heard him. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm good now. <laughs> um. I want you. Um, please, I want you to have this. So, what is this for? Are you, are you buying off my mother's book? No, no. <laughs> How can I buy you a five star? I want you to have this, okay? For wasting your time. I know you're supposed to have left by now. Have it, okay? Thank for you and your so mother. Much, Thank you very much. God bless you. Okay. Thank you, sir. It's okay. Just be good, eh? Okay. I'll see you. Mm -hmm. I'm very, I'm happy. I'm very happy. Please come right. back next time. Of yeah. course I will. <laughs> I really do enjoy that stuff, you know, especially this last meet. What's that for? Don't mind me, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go, I'll go, I'll see if you can tell us it. Mm -hmm. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Bye bye, sir. Mama, see what will that miss, Mama. See what will that miss. This is a big money. Hmm? My father, are you at work? You have started my work already. Oh my God. Are you sure we can come to this place no, again to sell? I pray he comes every day. Where have you been, Charles? I'm asking you a question. Where have you been? And can't you notice that I'm not talking to you? That should tell you to look for something else and do for yourself. Don't you dare be, Charles. Where are you coming from? You see, you've decided to make this life a living hell for people around you. And very soon, they will all leave you Go look for comfort place where they will find peace of mind. <laughs> what a laugh, Charles. So you actually went seeking for comfort and peace of mind outside your matrimonial home, oh, right? Right. Charles. All you do is chase after little girls. That's too low for someone like you, don't you think? Oh, you think so? This madness of yours is taking a new turn. Chasing after little, little girls. That's really low for you, Charles. Mm, you wish. Anyway. We're supposed to go out on a date today, Charles. So you expect me to put a stressed face and go out with you after you lose first attitude? Hmm? I am not going to do that. And listen. All I need now is a beautiful and unbroken rest and not your constant nagging. And you think um, having me here in this room, I will give you rest. I will allow you to actually rest in your dreams, Charles. Because trust me, the nagging just begun. Charles, answer me, where have you been? Where have you been, Charles? Charles, where have you been? I am talking to you, where have you been? Welcome, sir. How are you, ma? I'm fine, thank you. Okay. Good to see you. Thank you, ma. <laughs> How is market going? It's going on well. I think God. Good. How are you? I think God. Uh, Your friend? 
Oh, uh, yes. Um, I sent her to buy something for us to use and make these games. So she will soon be back. Okay. I have food. Do I serve you or will you prefer to wait for her to come back? <laughs> I'll wait for her to come. How? Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> Thank you once again. You're welcome. Uh, so how is your father and your brothers? Um, okay. Oh, yes. The SSG called me, yes. Mm -hmm. He said the meeting was moved by just a day, so it should hold in two days' time. Uh, <laughs> you know, that is typical of the governor. Oh, yes. Well, uh, I don't know about that, but uh, we just keep our fingers crossed. You, you, <laughs> without a beautiful wife, you still want another. You. <laughs> it's all right, we'll talk before then. Bye. Ah, how are you? I'm fine, Dad. Yeah. Where is your brother? I think he stepped out. Hmm. I've been watching that young man lately. He's almost hardly at home. Really? What do you mean by really? I haven't noticed that. How would you notice? When birds of the same feather flock together. Dad, I am lost here. Please bring me back. You're lost. It's all right. Um, let's talk about why you wanted to see me. Dad, I want to see you because I think you've not been talking to Pamela enough. How do you mean? She's still making things very difficult for my brother. And that may be the reason my brother hardly stays at home. Why are you contradicting yourself? You just said you are not aware that your brother is hardly at home. I never said I was. You said that yourself. And I believe kings don't lie. It's all right. I want to understand what you meant by... Pamela making things difficult for your brother. You know, your mother and I had a great time while she was alive. Our marriage was great, even though she was not born of blue blood. Dad, that's where the problem lies. Pamela has tested wealth and power in her father's house. So succumbing to my brother's beatings would be very difficult for her. Dad, what is this rubbish you always say that, if not for her rich kingdom, that our kingdom is amount to nothing? I hate hearing that crap, Dad. Ah, come on. You hate it does not change it from being the truth. That is the truth. Dad, why do you always like taking sides in anything that consigns Pamela? Why? Azubike, he will not understand. Let me enlighten you, okay? My age-long relationship with her father is far weightier than your childish tantrums. Dad. What is that? By the way, why won't you remove your eyes and ears from your brother's problems and family issues? As a matter of fact, it's time you got your own wife. It's time you got married so that you can supervise your own family. I mean, wh why do you keep preoccupying yourself with other people's problems? So that what you are trying to say in essence is that I should food my hands and watch things go wrong with my brother's marriage without doing anything. Come on, Dad. We are family. Azubiki. Dad. Being family 
does not make you a sanctioned officer over your brother's problems or your brother's family. So, like I asked you, or because I didn't want to suggest, I'm actually telling you, go and look for your wife, marry, and supervise your family. Hmm? Leave your brother alone. All right, Dad, I've heard you. Good. I'll go and look for my own wife. Fantastic. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm upstairs, Dad. Good. Why this place go to Why did you Why your face come over like that? Guy, calm down now. Calm down. Calm down. I feel like this too. See, wait, wait first. My mom, my mom, they feel alright. See, just calm down. No, last, last. Nobody go die. What are you playing now? Don't last long. You are afraid that I'm going to win you. Last, last, nobody will die. If it's too much, now slap you go chop and shout. Try to see. What's in the sub? That's how we go here. That means you don't receive everything for farmers. That's how you know. It is easy for you to say because you are not the one wearing the shoe like you. Let's see how that is done. She don't be calm. But leave it, leave it. No, 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 no. So you heard me calling your name, yet you refused to answer. Where's the dress I gave you to iron? Uh, your Highness, I, I, I'm sorry, there's a little problem. Little problem? Okay. I hope this little problem does not entail that something has happened to my dress. Because if it has, hey, I will kill you and bury you alongside your family. Go get me my dress, now. Um, sorry, my princess. Um, okay. Get my dress, now you, wait there. Where do you think you're going to? Sorry, your majesty. I'm going to go home with that. And where did those little demons go to? I don't, I don't know. Where, where? So I'm now a demon that everybody runs away from me, no, right? No, 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 Your Majesty, no. They, I think they went to go get something inside. Funny enough, the dress doesn't even look stretched. Give it to me. Was this dress even ironed? Yes, Your Highness, I ironed this. Sorry. What's happening here? What do you think? This twerp bought my expensive dress. What? You incompetent fool. You mean you cannot iron a common dress without burning it? Are you mad? Your Majesty, just a mistake. Shut up there with mistake! I'm sorry, sir. Oh. No, Justin, just for the party. But, 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 Dad, this is nothing serious now. Why is she taking it as if it's something very serious? Nothing serious? My expensive dress is not serious to you? Your Majesty, did you hear him? Did you hear him, Your Majesty? My expensive dress was bought. And this is all that has to be done about it. It's all right. You know what? That's fine. Because my father must hear about this. This time, I will not let it go. Your Majesty, the party to the president has just been ruined. 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 Father! My Majesty, I will tell my father. This twelfth burnt my clothes. Majesty, I will tell my father. I will tell my father. This twelfth burnt my clothes. Will you shut up? Respect yourself. Sorry, Dad. Sorry, Dad. I will tell my 
father, this twins burnt my clothes. I would tell my father, this twins burnt my clothes. Twins! I would tell my father, this twins burnt my clothes. Stop <laughs> 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 What is it? Don't touch me, Charles. Don't you dare. Go back to wherever you're coming from. Is there anything wrong for me to ask you what is wrong with you? Where are you coming from, Charles? Where? I... Well, on the scheme of things, that's so inconsequential to what is making you cry. Go back to where you're coming from. Mm. Get out! Just leave! Get out! Whatever. And he leaves. Because I asked him to leave, he's leaving. The person who cooks and feed the palace have now been reduced to a hospital puppet. Oh. Wait, so the only thing your mind and your brain is telling you now is just about food? See, now, just be, food. It will be. I've not had anything to eat since. Look at my eye. My eye is red. Yeah? But wait, I've been meaning to ask you. Did you burn those clothes just to get back at her for what she did to Chile? For what now? You should know I'm not petty. It was only a mistake. I believe you. <laughs> mm. I, I, I don't care. Whether you believe it or not, I've told you it was only a mistake. But you should have told her that ironing clothes is not your thing. Who? Oh. Wait, no. that one? Does she ever take no for an answer? Eh? But let me tell you something. One thing is certain. You see that lady? Eh? I must surely deal with her. I swear by my ancestors. It will be. Do not start to swear over the things you cannot do. Me, Evelyn. See, let me, mm. tell you, let me tell you something. Do you know even the king fears her? Oh. That's why she keeps thinking that the world and everything in it revolves around her. I don't know even, I, I don't even know what she's feeling like. When Eliza or what? See, Ebube, yeah? all I can tell you is uh, violence. It's not a way to solve this issue. Uh, violence? Is it your violence? Is it not my violence? Even if it's not my violence, just violence is not the way out. Ndukwe, leave it for me. It's my violence, it's not yours. Oh, your violence, your violence now. Violence it. Mind you that this is not your father's house. If you don't want to hear any voice, go inside your husband's room. I wasn't talking to you, okay?
From mental ill, medicalous. Yes. Oh, You're I suffering am from suffering from mental illness, right? Medicalous. Yes. Really? Yes. You want to see a mental woman? Yes. Have you ever seen a mad woman? Yeah. You, you're so lucky. There's no more time. I'll show you how mental I Pamela. am. Pamela. You want to come fight me? Show me that you're a man. You think it's by shouting that makes you a man? You are no man. You're just a mad boy. Come on out, boy. Rubbish. Let me see any one of you, anytime, come here and shout, disturbing my peace. Then you see what I'll do to you people. Cockroaches. Idiots. Insolent idiots. I don't know where they got you from. Ah! Who is that now, eh? Do you want to pull down the gates? <laughs> Madam, what is it? Uh -uh. Madam, wait now. Wait. Why did you open the gate for this mad woman? Why? She was just running inside the room. She, she, she didn't even allow me to talk with her. I am not a mad woman. I am the mother of the maid you poured a hot pot of soup on. My daughter has been cooking for the king and this royal house. And never has she been treated this way before. <laughs> so why are you here ranting? Ranting like a bad dog. Why? I am here so that you kill me. Kill me! Man, I'm not kill you dare! If you try it, I will <laughs> deal with you. You feel my wrath. Ungazi! Oh, please. No one is killing anybody. Chineye is fine. And the royal household takes full responsibility for what happened. Please, stop crying. Your Majesty, <laughs> this lady needs to be told that my daughter is not a stranger in this palace. She has been cooking like this palace before she was married into this royal home. <laughs> mama, 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 please, mama, mama, please, mama, please calm down. Just wipe your tears. You know, my father here will not allow anyone to maltreat your daughter in this palace. Please, wipe your tears. It will never happen again, okay? Please, please, I beg you, wipe your tears. It will never happen again. Swallow me, swallow me. I'm not here for any apology. I just came to take my daughter home. This palace is no longer safe for her. Take her! No, 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 Mama, please. Don't take Chinaye away. On behalf of all the hungry staff in this palace, I beg you, if you take her away, hunger and starvation will finish all of us. Will you shut your mouth? What is wrong with you? Make like a ghost and disappear from this place. Get out! Get out! And to you, crying nightingale, you know what? I do not care. If your daughter has been cooking for five generations before I got here, I do not care. If she wants to continue living in this palace, then she has to abide by my rules. By whose order? Mine. And who the hell are you? Princess Pamela, the only daughter of the great and mighty King Ojadike. And so what? And so fucking what? Don't you dare! Don't you? Where is she? Chinanye! Get your things. Come and meet your mad woman of a mother and get out of this place. Take your daughter and leave you with him. Where have you been? Don't tell me you are still with Charles. No, don't let me go. And he got you a gift? No. You need to slow down with him. Mama, slow down with what? 
nothing is going on. Nothing serious, nothing more. And the, this gift is not even mine, it's for you. Eh, for me? Hey! Mm -hmm. Talk one minute. Hey! <laughs> wow! These are beautiful. He is a wise man and smart man. He knows he has to buy the heart of the mother first before that of the daughter. <laughs> I don't understand what you're saying, Mama. No, you don't need to understand. Just go in there. Help me pack. Let me wash your this. It's time we go. <laughs> Hi, all this for me. What? Ah! Even money. I was just off when my mother brought me here. He gave me to the queen. Gave you to the queen as gift or what? No. He wanted me to be very far from my stepfather. And... Why? Like he used to molest you? Yes. And when he got tired of me, he dragged me out and old husband. At the age of 12? Yeah. My mother said he used to be a nun. And the tradition encouraged it. Are you not aware about it? No. Um, you know, I'm not from this kingdom. So. Probably that's why I'm not aware of it. So tell me about your story. Um, she, my story is long. So I don't think it's necessary now. Let's just keep talking about yours. Maybe some other time I can tell you about myself, okay? Hmm? I hope you're not angry. No, I'm not angry. <laughs> so tell me. Um, I had the king. Stop uh, an underage marriage because of you. Is that true? Yes. Because that was my godmother that you wish. I can say the queen cherished you so much. Yes, she did. And what do you think you both are doing? The both of you, what are you doing? Seated here, all locked up and romancing each other. My princess, we are retired for the day. And this is our quarter. Really? <laughs> As for you, you dog, why are you here? Aren't you supposed to be at your duty post? I beg your pardon. My duty is to take care of the king, and the king is asleep. Please, don't call me a dog again. Bravo. And he speaks. Now tell me, what's the first rule of Princess Pamela? I just asked you a question. What's my rule? Don't talk back, or? That one. But guess what? <laughs> you just did. So be prepared. Because I'll mete out your punishment to you by morning. And what do you think you're still doing there? Get up! I see the sweet us. He depend them. I see the sweet us. As for you, why am I even wasting my time? You're not just worth it. Not even one little bit. Let me have the keys. Good morning, uh, my princess. 
How dare you address me like that? Who is your princess? It seems you all have developed memory loss. Now address me properly. Your, your Highness. Turn. Look at me. Good. Now address me. Good morning, Your Highness. Let me have the keys. What? Are you deaf? Let me have the keys. But this is the king's uh, special car. No one drives it. Besides, you have your own car. Let me have the keys. Now! Give them to me. I'll leave this place. What are you looking at? Get out! Gossipers and roaches everywhere. Let me have the, the keys now. Let me have them! Can we ever Idiots. have a moment of peace in this palace? What's going on? What's this noise for? If I'm talking to you, what is going on there? What else will be going on? You just received a slap from your idol. Today is not for you. It will be another day. The keys now! Ebube, what key is she talking about? The key is to the king's special car. What? I, I, for what? Am I yala? And what's that supposed to mean? What's the meaning of what? Ebube, don't you ever give anyone that key. Don't try it. What's that supposed to mean? The keys. Ebube, don't try it. Give them to me now. Don't try it. Now. Give them to me now. Don't try it. What kind of problem is this? Why can't you have peace in this palace? Because there is no peace for the wicked. The keys. Elbe, don't try it. I said give hey, it to me. Hey, 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 stop it. Stop it, my friend. Use your can, go to wherever you want to go to and stop this rubbish. I said give them to me. Don't even do that. Don't try it. What is going on there? Your Majesty, I wish to go out in the king's special vehicle. So amazing how people ask for impossible things with so much guts. So much guts. Elizabeth. I'm sorry, but it's okay. Father. Father, I'm sorry we can never allow her to have it. My wife is just asking and requesting for something that she can never have. She has my permission. What? What? Dad! Ebube. Your Majesty. Hand her the car case. That, are you serious? Look at the both of them. Hey, Kofana, rubbish. No don't, don't, talk, don't talk rubbish. Look at them. What's a, what's a livid man? Don't talk rubbish. Look at that one. You Keep on the talking. Mm. Talking. Shit. Talking. 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 Any <laughs> word, but also. <laughs> you see, me, I'm not really happy at all. I'm not happy at all. I am really not happy at all. This woman keeps treating everyone in this palace as if they don't exist. And the king will not even do anything about it. Ago. The kind of embarrassment that woman gets to me in the morning, in presence of everyone, I can't forget in a hurry. If you see, you were there now. Yeah? But one thing is sure. You see, Pamela? Mm. I'll beat her up here. <laughs> okay, don't believe me. You can you know you cannot touch her. Her father is too powerful. Did you think the king gave out his royal car out of a willing heart? It has never been heard that someone is seen driving the king's royal car today. He broke the tradition because he doesn't want King Ojadike's wrath. My brother, there is more that meets the eyes. Um, 
I don't care. I don't care. You see all those things you're talking about, like King God, Jadik is or not. That one is not my business. My own is that. You see that, Pamela? Mm. I will surely beat her up. Excuse you? Come back here! Come back here. So the both of you are busy plotting on how to beat me up, right? No, Your Majesty, we are not planning on how to beat you. Just... Idiots! You... Why are you begging her? Look at you. You be idiot. Go bring again. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Why in a way, why in my American at all, Joe? Eh? Do you talk when I am talking? Now you quit your toe. Why are you begging her? Is she not supposed to be beating up with all this attitude? You're begging her. You go. You dare talk when I am talking? Uh huh. Who are you? Are you God? Ta. I met my cause I am. Who am I begging? Me begging her. See, Pamela or whatever you're called, you you can go to hell. Who do you think you are? We are not afraid of you. We. Pamela, or whatever you are called, I'm not afraid of you. Let me tell you, I'm not afraid of you. Ta! You can go to hell. Uh, Your Majesty, you know my punishment will be lesser now. Oh, I wasn't talking when Shut you. Shut your mouth! No, the punishment is less. Give me the big, okay? See, we are not afraid of you. We. I'm not afraid of you. We. I'm begging, I'm begging. Madam, do your worst. That boy must be punished for what he did. And that is final. Father, I remember you taught us that when people have been pushed beyond their limits, they break. Don't you think Pamela here has actually pushed everybody so much that made him to break out? He insulted me right to my face. Your Majesty, that imp threatened to beat me up. It's not your turn yet. Soon it will be. Too bad. Here is not your father's palace. Or your father's fine castle. So be. Sorry, bro. Sorry. Sorry about that. I think everybody should be left alone. Because Pamela here has actually, actually pushed him beyond the limit. And no one that has been pushed like that will not that will not react. Charles, are you by any means suggesting that we should reward that imp? I guess that was the word you used on him for insulting royalty. Is that what you're saying? Father, you know I cannot do a thing like that. And that is not even the point. What the hell actually is the point? You should not disrespect the king with your wholesome choice of words and your mannerless vulgarity. Before the gods will appear in skate and browse. You know what that means? Your coconut will be so much made of mpampaka via cataclysm. Mind the way you talk in this palace. My friend, sit down, both of you. Sit down. Now. The king says, sit. Your Majesty. I'll be allowed to meet my own punishment on that thing, or he should be asked to leave this palace. Let both princes choose. Is she walking out on the king? Um, father. Please. Dad. Both of you should leave me out of this. She was talking to both of you, and I am not involved, so enjoy yourselves. I've not seen him all day. Huh? Mm -hmm. What? What is he doing there? He's under uh, Princess Pamela's punishment. Meaning what? 
Come on, go there and untie him. It's Princess Pamela. That I said go there and untie him now. Try it and I will kill you. Try it. This is not over, Charles. It's not over. Rubbish. Thank you. Get up. Get up and leave there. God bless you, my prince. Hi. What nonsense. Are you mad? Where is that stupid, stupid woman? Where is she? She's inside. What nonsense. What kind of rubbish, rubbish is this? Is it me that caused it? Is it not your bad man that kept you here? Is it not your bad man that kept you here? Hmm? Come now. I think you're my friend. Come now, leave this one, leave this one. Come, come. What can I leave you? Come now. What can I do? There is something about this whole thing that I do not understand. Why is father always making room for her excesses? I think it's not about father's relationship with King Rajadike. What is inside me is telling me that there is something father and Pamela have in common that they are not telling us. And what could that possibly be? I actually want me to believe that Father and Pamela are having an affair. We are both in this world, and nothing is impossible. Why well, are you insinuating? I never said they are into affair. But what I'm kind of trying to say is that when you sense danger, you apply caution. But eventually, if such thing happens, we will be able to chest it. Yes. Oh, that doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> so when is your flight? <laughs> Two hours time. So why are you coming back? Tomorrow night.
Yeah, what's up? As you can see, I'm good on you. Yeah, good. So, what's going on? Nothing. Bro. Yep. Daddy keeps complaining about your casual dressing, and you're not doing anything about it. Oh, man, come on, person. Da, 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 da. You know that song, right? I don't like the song. Why? Besides, you're not a common person. You're royalty. You need to wear something that shows it. You know, I don't like living a uh, flamboyant and extravagant life. I like to keep it low. Very Bro, simple. That is the beauty of royalty. If I had one look. Royalty is pride. <laughs> royalty is something you show off. Good day, my princess. Good day. That is why not everyone is royalty. I like it this way. Anyway, I like to be myself. Yeah. So, how do I look? You look like a shent of days. A foreign mugu. That's how you look, yes. <laughs> so oh tell my me, god. Where do you always go these days more than the office? And where can some people mind their business? I mean, learn how to mind your business. Why? Why can't you learn that? My brother's business is also my business. Hmm. You know, when people don't mind their business, they are also furry moogles, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I will see you when I come back. All right, bro. All right. Take care of yourself. Okay. I will see you when I get back. All right. We go. But learn how to mind your business. Your okay? business is my business, bro. <laughs> All right, bro. Why make it look like I give you enough trouble on a bad day? You came in here all smiling, dancing, raised your face, saw me, and your mood changed. What are you talking about? I totally understand this mechanism. Staging a fight so you wouldn't be attacked over something you've done. That's just classic, Charles. What the hell are you talking about? I'm not ready to have this still conversation just yet. But so you know, Charles, I know everything that is going on, Charles. Princess Pamela is no fool. I'm not a fool, Charles. What have I done what have I to deserve done? this human? Hey! How can I help you? Charles has never had good taste. I don't understand. My name is... Never mind. So you're the chipmunk that's been philandering with Charles. Dirty and unkept thing like you. Excuse me, madam. I, I do not waste time before forgetting my hands on people's faces. So you better shut your fangs and listen. Well, Charles and I have nothing going on. And I think it's wrong of you to speak to your fellow woman in that manner. <laughs> You're not a woman.
man, darling. You're just a bug. That's what you are. I have to go now. If you take one more step, I will deal with you. <laughs> You're a mad woman. Oh, that. Welcome, son. Madness. Run me over. Run me over. You want us to break my legs, right? Man, sometimes in a is more yala. Ivagala. Yeah? What's this madness for? What's going on? Do you want me to run you over? You haven't seen madness yet. I dare you to try it. I dare you to try it. You think I did not hear? I heard Unduke telling you to, that that demon girl was waiting for you. Go! Go meet her. But first, you have to run me over. What is going on here? Your Majesty, go man your throne. Go to your throne and sit there. This is my marriage. My Let friend, me fix it. Keep quiet. Why do you have to stop your husband from going out? Go back to your throne. Leave me to deal with my marriage. Please. Majesty, you're wrong that you're talking to like that. Right? Bro, I am behind you. Run her over. What? I said, run her over. I, I am will, behind you. Will you shut I am behind you. Run me over, child. Run Show me you're a man. Wait, run, run me over. Run you want Charles to run the wife over? The only daughter of King Ojadike? Dad, Charles has an important place to come. Run her over. I am behind you. And I said, keep quiet. What is wrong with you? And you, Charles, if your wife does not want you to go out, respect yourself as a man. Go back and rest. Why can't you respect your wife? Right. Dad, that's what I'm uh. saying. Charles has an important place to go. Who are you to challenge me? Charles, come back. Come and run me over. Me? Charles, be a man. Run me over. You're a man, right? Come run me over. Charles, come and be a man. No, run you're not a man, Charles. Look at the one that was so, that is solidly behind someone. The one that is waiting. The one that is solidly behind. Over. Come now, come and run me over. Charles, come and be come a come. man. Useless fool! Run her over! Run her over! Come oh on, you're a man! Look at this apartment! Look at the one else! You come and run me over! See how he is! Come! Come run me over yourself! Useless idiots! Nonsense princess! Fools! Look at those ones! Crown crutches everywhere! Are you still there? Animals! Idiots! I asked you to lock the gate, lock the gate didn't I? This, this. Come! Lock the gate! Lock the gate! Idiot! When I tell you to do anything, you do it! Animals, get back inside! Idiot! You can be a man, not even for once! What a gossip! Gossipers! And why are you laughing, you? Is that what you were asked to do? You're supposed to protect the king! Let me see you laugh the next time! Idiot! I'm 
this Charles is married? Who told you that? Yes, I know his wife and his girlfriend. So where are you going? She didn't have a customer. This is all my poor mother and I can afford. What have you come here to do? I heard you are Charles's wife. Yes. And your daughter is that bug that wouldn't let him be. I've come to give you a word to her. My daughter and Charles are just friends and nothing more. Tell your daughter to fish where small fishes like her kind are found. This will be the last time I will say this. She, she doesn't look to me like Charles's wife. Nor does she look like them. A desperate and troublesome woman who is trying to force herself on him. She's cocky and prideful. Exactly. You have to stay away from her, man. I don't trust her. Let's go. No matter what the will of God it must be done. No matter what if a chicken menoi man no propose God no dispose. So who can change it? The minds of the gods for the gods are wise. The gods are wise. The wisdom is far higher than the wisdom of men. If you do, I show you no say, the gods are wise. I be you no know, I be you no know, know, the gods are wise. What are you doing in my kitchen with those smelly sores and scars? My Cooking? Princess. My princess, the palace guards and prince will be very hungry. Henceforth, you're not allowed into the kitchen till those smelling sores of yours are totally healed. Now, get out. Leave. Get out! Oh, this is horrible. That is definitely going into the trash. And I think someone needs to come use some air freshener. Yeah, and a disinfectant at that, yes. I need to sterilize this whole place. I can't deal with all of this. That trash, definitely. Your life is rude and arrogant. I see Pamela paid your visit and she must be very hard on you. I apologize for... Um... It's fine. My mother and I have gone past it. 
Oh. That must make your mother feel so bad. Actually made her feel worse. Oh. I'm sorry about that. I never told you about her. It's all right. Maybe if you had told me, we wouldn't have been friends. Do you hate me now? I don't hate anyone. But I have to be my mother's wish. About what? By staying away from you. Bielum, you make me happy. Happier than anyone on this planet Earth. I have to go now. So, you're not going to do anything about that Buka girl that wants to steal your husband from you? Lizzie. I am royalty. I am Princess Pamela. I don't mix with low lives. As for Charles, hmm, I'm still fashioning how best to deal with him. If I were you, I'll act faster than fast. If what you told me is true, that girl I saw today is way prettier than both of us combined. A man that has eye on pretty girls will do everything to keep her. I think your eyesight is beginning to dim a bit because trust me, she's nothing compared to me. She doesn't hold a touch light to me, so just forget it, okay? I know what I'm doing. If you say so, but shine your eyes. Always. It's only a more powerful bulldog or its owner that makes a fierce bulldog tame and stick its tail in between its legs. But in this case, we both know it's not its owner. Then, it's certainly another bulldog. Or even a more powerful bulldog. Whatever made her that way must be something huge. Please. Yes. I'm going back to work before she shows up for me. <coughs> no, I should. Me too. Oh. Should I even go this way? <coughs> you are in there, son of the great orator Kalu. May his soul. Live on. Yes, you are right. My name is Nze, but I don't know you. I am Princess Pamela, highly esteemed and most cherished daughter of King Ojadike. Oh, greetings, my princess. You may rise. But. My princess, what are you doing in my vicinity? 
Good question. My husband, Prince Charles Obimwa, is sharing some fantasy with your girlfriend, Imoro One. <laughs> Sorry to ask my princess. <laughs> Are you trying to tell me that Prince Charles is seen being alone my girlfriend? I, I don't know this. I know. And that's why I'm telling you. And I'm sure with this conversation, you understand why I stopped you. Please, my princess, I'm sorry. Uh, I said my apologies. Eh? I give you my word. I will make her desist. I'm sorry. You better do. Ooh. Have a good day, young man. Thank you. So, Binyelum has been seeing Prince Charles. Eh? Just because I'm not a prince, right? It's all right, we shall see. No, no father, I'm just tired. I'm tired of being the commodity of alliance between you and King Gobimwa. This is not working at all. What do you mean? What do you mean by my marriage is in my hands? What do you want me to do? Didn't you hear what I just said? I have done everything I can. Stop telling me to make it count. I knew it. I knew you were going to take your side after all. You know what? Father, that's enough. That's enough. Since you want to be this way, we'll just talk later. Your friendship with Charles is beginning to affect his marriage. You must stop it. Charles and I are just... It doesn't matter. You have to stop it, please. Auditor. Your Majesty. What brought about this humongous and reckless spending? Your Majesty, that is a statement of account and total expenditure the company has incurred for the past six months. But Your Majesty, is alarming the amount of money that has been leaving the company's account for the past two, three months. Which department is responsible for this? And who exactly is in charge? Her Majesty, Princess Pamela. She has been withdrawing without due consent and permission from the company's accountants. But why should she have access to the company's account in the first place? Well, Your Majesty, by the virtue of the sensitive position you gave to her in the, in the company, Your Majesty, I think something has to be done fast and fast. Hmm. Oh. My dear Princess Pamela, the company's auditor informed me 
of the humongous and reckless spending over the last three months. What do you have to say about that? Your Majesty, with all due respect, I will not sit here and have this conversation with you. Pamela, you will sit down and answer that question. Pamela, you will sit down and answer that question. Um, Pamela, please. She also informed me that uh, if we are not careful, we face imminent bankruptcy. What? In the nearest future. Dad, the company cannot afford to lose dive now. Pamela, why would you want to run down the company? Dad, you need to leave her of her duty now. You know what? I think I've had enough of this. Pamela! Pamela! How do you not see anything? I've been wondering where I kept my car keys. I've searched everywhere, but still can't find it. Did you see it? No, 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 my friends. I didn't see it. I seized it. Pamela, you seized my car key? What's going on here? Huh? Your Queen Elizabeth said she confiscated my car key. <laughs> Why that? For what? The bank said we might be experiencing bankruptcy and everyone blames me for it. Simply put, I have to regulate the rate of spending both here in the palace and at the office. Henceforth, everyone in the palace will drive only one car in order to conserve fuel and I must be informed upfront. And at the office? No, excuse me. Yes. You know how much I hate to be interrupted. But it's okay. Humor me. Tell me. What is the meaning of this bullshit? Um, Zubi. Hold on. You see, your reckless spending towards the company money does not warrant you to halt people's movement and confiscating their car keys. Look at you. Going around spending buying all sorts of designers. What do you expect? Hey, return that key. I will not return the keys. I will not. I said return that key now. I said I will not. Then come force me to give it. She seized my car key. <laughs> she seized my car key. Hey. I am indeed totally disappointed in all of you. I mean, how could you? Huh? How could you turn my palace into a fighting square? For this indecent act of yours, I am going to punish all of you. Father, if anyone should be punished here, that should be Pamela. Why? Why only Pamela? You all constituted nuisance in this palace and you want me to punish Pamela only? 
Why? But you idolized and spoiled her. Father, she is the architect of everything that is happening here. Anyway, um, Pamela, I am totally disappointed in you. Why? Because your son said so? Mm -hmm. Why must I be the only one to be at the fore of the hook all the time? Your Majesty, I was only teaching everyone how to be prudent in their spending. Really? No, no, Pamela. You're telling me confiscating Prince Zubi's car key is an act of prudence? Is that what you're saying? Your Majesty, I can see you're siding with your sons against me. Why? You're not fighting me because of them. You know what? My father must definitely hear about this. I won't take this. This is injustice. It doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> Go and tell God. <laughs> Prince Charles, why are you not saying anything? I mean, your reaction is so usual. You caused it. Father. Mm. <laughs> Ayo. Oh. Oh. Ah, ah. This girl is a case. <laughs> yes, coming. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Please sit. Thank you, sir. Please, sir. Sir, there has been an ugly development at the company. What ugly development are you talking about? The workers stopped work for the past three days. Why? The company policy states that they can only do that if their salary is not being paid for two months. And from the things that Pamela told me... She kept the truth from you, sir. And what do you mean by that? No salary has been paid for the last four months, sir. What? For what now? Are you telling me the truth? Yes, sir. No way! <laughs> oh my world! Mm. <laughs> ah. mm. Oh, Lizzie. I've just been someone to a tribunal. Of course, darling, I'll call you later. <laughs> All right. Oh. Pamela, this is an office. You can't be making calls and shouting on top of your voice, disturbing the peace of this establishment. What, what is wrong with you? Well, Martin told me that most of the workers have not been paid for the last four months. Well said. Did he also give you the reason? What stupid reason would make you withhold people's money for the past four months in this hard economy? Exactly the point. This hard economy. Why would they waste materials and resources during production and still come out with inferior products for the company? That's not true. I don't think so, because most of these guys you're talking about have been working here for the past 20 years and they've never, ever wasted any resources. I will not spend a dime on incompetent people. 
Because as it stands, I will be summoned as to why the company is headed towards bankruptcy. Pamela. This conversation is over, Charles. She's lying, sir. I know. Um, I wanted to tell the workers to go back to their seat. They should resume work. Yes. Okay? Yes. I have everything under control. Okay, no problem, sir. Yeah, but why wasn't I informed about this before now? So you know that the king put her there and said I should report and take instructions from her alone. Really? Yes, sir. It's okay. Can go. Thank you, sir. My father just want to wreck this company. Too bad. How will she be owing people for four months? This is pure wickedness. How will people with family feed? Are you talking to father about this? And what do you think he will do about this? Hmm? What do you think he will do about this? Wasn't he the person who made her head of finance? What was he even thinking? I said, the thing is that Hara did it just to solidify his friendship with King Ojabike. Despite that, I don't see the reason he should take the position and bestow it upon my wife. I'm tired of this whole thing. Bro, well, come on. Don't talk like that. I know you're saying this out of anger. Calm down. Okay? Your Majesty, this is the seventh time this is happening. She can be going around with parcel of cocaine and other hard drugs. Um, detective, I must appreciate you for your timely intervention. We are grateful. You're welcome, Your Majesty. Please, you really have to talk to her. There is a special anti-drug force in the state now, solely saddled with this responsibility. If she gets into their net, it's going to be pretty bad. My hands are going to be very tight. Hmm. It's all right, I've heard you. Thank you. You're welcome, Your Majesty. I have to take my leave now. Call her for me. All right, Dad. What have I done what have I to deserve done? this humiliation? What have I done? If she keeps getting off the hook, she will never know that people get caught and prosecuted for crimes they commit. I told the king about the new team in the state. You did? I had to. At least now they will know that it has gone beyond our radar. Her father kept getting her off the hooks too many times. Oh, come on, Magnus. All that is about to change now. You think so? Yeah.
And when you realized he was a crown prince, you decided to leave me for him, right? No! What do you mean by crown prince? Look here. Don't you dare try to play dumb with me. You don't understand. Just is a crown prince. Don't pretend as if you don't know what I'm saying. He didn't, huh? he didn't tell me anything. Listen to me, woman. No woman can fool me. I know you have been sleeping with the prince. No. No, no. And you think you can get to me or what? No, no. I am. I don't want to hear anything from no, you. I am serious, is it? There is nothing going. I didn't even know he was a crown prince. He just came as a customer. I thought. Now nah, listen. Now nah, listen. Wait. Listen. I don't want ever to see you again. Mm. Did you get that? He has got into this. I, I, I'm serious. I, I, I'm not having anything to do with you. I beg you, please. Keep your life to yourself. Is it, please? Is it? Is that why you are crying? Is that why you are shedding tears? When you ought to be happy? Yes! I've always told you that you are wasting your time with that man called Nze. I don't believe he's the right man for you. Eh? Why do this, my daughter? Um, by the way, where is the Prince Charles he's talking about? Charles? Charles, we know apparently he's a prince and he's been hiding it from us. What? Yes, he's the crown prince, the first son of King obi uh, It's a lie. <laughs> You're joking. Um, I mean, why should he hide such a prestige from us? Why? Prestige, Mama. Yes. Do you know what it means for a crowned prince to be attracted to you? Look at us. A crowned prince who is married. And the man that is supposed to be my boyfriend is accusing me of sleeping with him. Do you know what is more painful? The fact that people I thought I knew do not know me. And I do not even know the people that, that know me. See, after all these years, we think so little of me. And Charles, on the other hand, has been hiding the fact that he's a prince from us. And now he thinks I, I, I'm with Charles because he's royalty and he's a prince. You should not worry yourself about this. But do you now confirm that Nze does not have any sense? Onwelo sense, macha. He is senseless, useless, stupid. If you go here, I would only actually make a favorite. Um, who told him that you know that Charles? Is a prince. Go ahead, Walia. That's the problem. No, I did not even know. I did not know. He thinks that I knew all along. That's why I went for Prince Charles. I did not even know. We had no idea. I'm even surprised that I can't even believe it. Ne. Wipe your tears. Eh? Ururogi Bakwa. I've always taught you not to allow, not to allow anyone to make you feel less of a woman. Not even Nze. Konyobo. He no rich. Lechon, look at him. Don't worry yourself. Don't worry. Don't worry. I don't want anything to disturb you. I'll call you later. Don't worry, no What's going on, Charles? I should be asking you. 
What is going on? What are you doing with the company's account? Huh? The company account is empty. Who sent you? Who are you, Pamela? You just said my name. Princess Pamela. Your wife. I am not playing games with you. I am not messing with you, Pamela. I just finished talking with Martins on the phone a few minutes ago. And how does that affect the price of Pamo in the market? Just shut up and hear me out. Why are you harassing me, Charles? What is this? What are you doing with the company's money? The company account is empty. What are you doing with the money? Pamela, you want to wreck my father's company? Who are you? The money I took from the company's account will be duly refunded. Okay? Did you tell me... And can you tone down your voice when you're talking to me? Because the noise is making me crazy. Did you tell me on my father before start doing your stupid things? Excuse me? Tell you or your father why? It's not necessary. I just told you that the money will be duly refunded. Besides, I'm the authorizing authority as far as company's finance is concerned. So please, turn it down a notch. Whatever you are, I do not care to know. Now listen to me. I give you one week to return all the money you've used. Else, we will ride it together. Whatever, Charles. I've said what I need to say. So that's it. Come in. Your Majesty. Pamela. As you know, there is nothing, absolutely nothing, within my past that you will ask for and you've ever asked for that I have not granted. As a matter of fact, I have denied my two sons several privileges and opportunities just for you to have them. I hope you are not mistaken my magnanimity for weakness. Your Majesty, I... Well, Charles has given you one week or two later. I am making it one month. At the expiration of that period, if you don't return every single cover that you took from my company, Oh, I will so deal with you. And your father will do nothing about it. Because as we speak, he is already aware. My father must definitely tell me what both of you discussed. Because no one, no one, not even you, your majesty, dares to threaten Princess Pamela. No one. Pick up, father. Pick up. Father. Okay, Mama, I have to okay. take my leave now. Bino, won't you at least come and bid farewell to your visitor? Um, I think you know the reason why she is still unhappy. Uh, yes, Mama, I know. I know. At least I still have to give her some time to 
Get over it. Please. I am a poor widow. Single-handedly taking care of my fatherless child. I don't want to incur the wrath of King Bojadike. Not at all. Everyone in this community dreads him. Please. Mama, your daughter and I are just casual friends. There's nothing to attached, okay? Yes, it's just that that's the way she makes me feel whenever I'm around her, which makes me to always come around. That's just it. She is all I have. Everything I have. Please. It's okay. She's my friend. And I will assure you that no harm will befall her. Okay? Thank you, my prince. It's okay, ma'am. I have to go now. It's okay. Ay, 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 ay. Mm. No matter what the will of God so must be done. No matter what if a chukuku me ye menoi man no purpose God no dispose So who can change it? The minds of the gods For the gods are wise I need to make something clear to you. You and I have nothing to say to each other. You should know that by now, Charles. I know. And I'm also aware of your pointless attack on Bielum. And you need to know that Bielum and I have... Are sleeping together. I know. And I've made peace with that. You really need to know that Bielum and I have nothing going on. You just need to know that. Do you think I'm a dollar, Charles? Are you even mad? What do you take me for? Are you listening to yourself talk? You are always together. Yet you tell me that you have nothing to do with each other. Are you talking to a child, Charles? Please, I want to sleep. No more. We have nothing going on. You know, just that Bingelum gives me peace of mind. I find peace whenever I'm with her. You know, when a man is tired of nagging and problems in his home. I mean, he goes to somewhere that he can find peace of mind and relax. And with Binyelum, I find peace. Not that something is going on. Something that you clearly do not have. Anyway, the king has given you one month and he's not just messing around. Good night, Jezebel. What have I done to deserve this humiliation? What have I done? Jesus. 
Chie. Mm. You know I love you. I love you too. I I want you to be strong, okay? Despite all the treatment we're having here in the palace. Hmm? I want mm. you to stay here with me for as long as I'm stay here, okay? Mm. And I want you to do one thing for me. Please. Always be careful. Okay? I promise. Please. Just be careful because of this devil. You know what? Just relax. Very soon. I have my own plans. Very soon. You and I will get married. Okay? When we are ready, we'll get married. And once we get married, we'll move away from this palace. We'll go somewhere else and start our own family. Hmm? This is so sweet. I mean, I really can't wait. I yeah. can't wait to start having children for you. <coughs> I can't wait to start taking care of you in our own home. And me too. I can't wait to see you and I with our children surrounding the table. I mean, having a peaceful home. Our home will be extremely peaceful. Sure. Not like what we find in the palace, where one woman has made herself a thorn in everyone's flesh, even her husband. Don't mind that wicked woman. <laughs> that is a business, okay? Thank God you didn't even look up to her. I didn't mean you're behaving like, oh, like her. Oh, Who is she? I wouldn't have come close to you. If not that she's a princess, what would I have done to her? Eh? Would I have beaten her? Deep? To me, she's not a princess. So. What if, uh, <laughs> she's not a princess. She doesn't behave like princess, honestly. <laughs> she's a devil, honestly. I thank God you, you are not that kind of person. Oh. If you are that kind of person, I wouldn't have even looked at her. Talk oh, more of this embarrassing. <laughs> Why would she be crying? I don't know, but whatever that is making her cry must be very serious. You know, that is what happens when people think that the whole world and everything in it revolves around them. Bro, you're not sounding pitiful. No, I'm not. You know, Pamela needs to understand that she needs everyone to work with, despite her color, her status, her language and whatever about her. Okay? People need to be treated right, not treated anyhow. Right. She might just turn a new leaf. To me, that's what I believe. Uh, good for her, if she ever does. I pray so. Hmm. You should be drinking some good wine, not this. I don't like this. I'm more than this. I'm a big boy. I know that smile. <laughs> what is it this time? <laughs> if what I heard was what I believed, then, there is trouble in the land. Ifoma, mm -hmm. you like hearing things all the time. Mm -hmm. What did you hear this time? I think I heard the almighty Princess Pamela crying in her room. Crying? Mm -hmm. That's not possible. Where did you hear it? I think her things are beginning to sort out. I leaned over her window, and I heard that loud and clear. Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> this is serious. Mm -hmm. Come, come, come. You need to tell me more. Come. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
it, Lizzie. It's not that I am no longer interested in being in control of my marriage and everything. It's just that I sincerely feel that everything is going out of hand already. Everything has gone south. So you want to throw in the towel? Whoever told you that you win by being a quitter? Look, babe, you need to be on top of your business or have your husband and the whole family toss you around. All these things happen in movie. We see them. They are real. Don't allow anybody to mock you. I know, Lizzie. I know. But this is not working anymore. You want to quit? Quit? Quitting has never been a way out. So I should keep pushing it until my marriage and everything is shredded into pieces? That's not going to happen. All you need to do is we strategize. It's all about strategy. Change your strategy and everything will work perfectly well for you. So you mean I'm not doing the wrong thing? No, you're not. <sighs> Babe. I just want, I want to stop everything now. I don't want things to get out of hand. No. There's something I'm going to tell you. This time around, it's going to work for you. But that should be after our shopping. Lizzie, you think with everything going on right now, I still want to go, go to that party with you. I don't want to attend that party, please. Why not? Why are we not going for the shopping? Is it not for the party? You know what, Lizzie? That's okay. Let's let's just go for the shopping, okay? No, you are talking. Let's go. No matter what the will of God must be done. No matter what if a Man will propose God will dispose. So who can change it? The minds of the gods For the gods are wise The gods are wise The gods are wise The gods are wise They are wise The gods are wise The gods are wise The gods are wise The gods are wise The wisdom is far higher Than the wisdom of men If you do I say you must say The gods are wise I be you no know, I be you no know, that the gods are wise, they oversee everything, yeah, no matter what the will of God must be done, no matter what, if a chukuku me yemen loy, Man will propose, God will dispose, so who can change it? The minds of the gods, for the gods are wise, 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 the the gods are wise. If you don't share something with your mother, who else will you share it with? No one. Well, honestly, it's not something to even worry yourself about. I'll talk about it. But for now, let me figure things out first. You know how disturbed you can be about things sometimes. What is it all about? Who did you Mama, see? What did you see? You're, you're getting yourself worried again. Hey, I've just told you, don't worry. I had a dream. I didn't want to talk about it until I wrapped my head around it. But I think I have to now. Tell me about it. I'm on this road. It's quite lonely and I'm walking all by myself. The next thing your wife's car emerges. Before I could do anything, she ran me over. All I remember was lying there helplessly. Do you think she would want to harm me?
I see you still do not want to tell me what you had to discuss with my husband. Um, you are his wife and he is your husband. Oh. Whatever we discussed will be related to you in time, okay? Things are not so smooth, Mr. Accountant. Are you making troubles again? <laughs> Come on. I'm only trying to keep my marriage here. By destroying it. Oh. Anyway, um, if it turns out worse, you know I'd be the happiest man. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> Come wasn't, on. Wasn't that the original plan? I'm still married. And you know, I cannot enjoy the benefits I enjoy now if I marry another man. Father who sees all the benefits. Mm -hmm. That would take care of itself in time, okay? And I know such a time will never come. You wish. Don't wait on it. <laughs> <laughs> you Your take care now. You, right. Take Have care. Nice Drive safely, okay? Yeah. What is this? I'm not understanding anything on this statement of account. What is going on? Sir, I'm as confused as you are. I don't know how this came about. Sir, then will you just shut up? You have your signature signed in all the papers here and you're telling me you don't know what's going on. My friend, take this and get out of my office. Don't get me provoked. Perhaps. I'm sorry, sir. How come you have your signature signed in all the papers there and you're telling me you don't know what's going on? Just get out. What explanation are you talking about? On those papers were your signature. None was mine, so... Pamela, what are you up to? Do you want to put me in jail? <sighs> Listen, I am sure you have a hand in that. But the question is why? <laughs> Mr. Accountant, I told you to leave this game, you know, to the masters of the game. But no, you always think you know everything. Pamela, I beg you. Okay, I agree. You can have your way. Please, just fix this. I don't want to go to jail. I always have my way, accountant. But you don't have to cry. Now that you've begged me, let's just say I'll save your ass, as always. But you know what to do afterwards, right? No problem. I'll do it. Just fix this, please. What if Charles later found out you are behind those fake signatures? What's the difference? <clears throat> Besides, I don't play my games the dirty way. He will never find out. So, what's your thought about what I said we should do? <sighs> Honestly, Lizzie, it's a bit out of plan. You scared to get it done? Thank you for making me waste my precious time. Thinking of 
what should solve your problems? Come on, Lizzie. The truth is, I don't see that strategy. Being capable of able to fix my my problems right now. I, I just feel it to escalate it. I'm sorry, I know you're only looking out for me, but at this point, I Come on, Liz. Liz. Oh, that's... Oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. Whew, it's nothing like that. Harry, of course. <laughs> yeah, I can hear you. <laughs> You know what? I'll get across to you, okay? Yeah. All right. You take care. <laughs> Bye for now. Charles, no. why is your wife not at the table with us? She says she's not hungry. Did you two have a fight at the office? Mm -mm, not at all. You know, I've not spoken with her for some time now. She just like to keep to herself. Not only here in the house, she actually took it to the office. Now that I think this royal home is gradually falling apart, it wasn't like this before. Not at all. Yes, it wasn't this like this before. This has changed. Zubi is right. That I think you have to do something about it. As most mom of the to chimpanzee. It's all right, so I, I will have a word with Pamela. Beautiful, beautiful. But in the meantime, I suggest we leave her alone. Oh, good dear girl. Did you open me up? I'm going to hold my hand. This food is delicious. That's a new game. This is our cooker. Finger of ingredients. I can have bamboo. Your Majesty, that's the dirty thing 
your son left me for. Another woman? No, that Nyelum is not that serious friend though. Yeah. Up and down. So Pamela, how did you come to that conclusion? Your Majesty! Me, you believe him? Of course I do. Charles does not tell lies. Neither do I, Your Majesty. Well, I'm not sure about that. Your Majesty. Well, let's uh, put our attention on the incessant calls. Charles, I suggest you return that call or those calls because uh, it might be something serious. Yes, right now. I am definitely not returning this phone. That will be over my dead body. What is your phone? What is your phone, bro? Season. Charles. 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 Dad, you just called your esteemed daughter-in-law a liar. Ah, come on, Zoe. We all know that she lies. Of course, we know she lies, but you are not supposed to tell her to her face. I don't understand you anymore. You and your brother have been accusing me of always taking sides with her. Now I've taken sides with you, I mean, what have I done wrong? That I think, that kind of ruined everything. I don't see Charles coming back here with that phone. What nonsense! Rubbish! Rubbish! Bro, calm down. What nonsense is this? Calm down. Bro. What? 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 What is actually going on? Bro, calm down. What? She locked me out, and also seized my phone. Dad, I told you. I know Pamela. I know what she can do. <laughs> well, uh, I advise that both of you should relax. She is going to return that phone. For now, let's just allow her to be. But father, what if the reason beyond call is serious? Then you have no option that to go and see her. No, I, I really don't think so. Why? Charles, don't let her lies make your truth seem like a lie. Do you understand that? Absolutely not. Young lady, there's no point sitting here. You need to save your mother. Go and get the money so that we can process the operation. Doctor, please. I don't have any way to get this money. Look, she's all I have. Please, I'm begging you. Please. Me, I'll be helping you. And there's nothing I can do now. <gasps> we need to do everything real quick. Doctor, let me say that first. I'll, I'll find a way to get the money. Please, I'm begging. Sorry to tell you, Henry, that this is not a title organization. Without the money, I cannot do anything. Please. What is wrong with you? I'm going to break your bones. Do not further provoke me. Break whose bones, Charles? I dare you to try to keep your man enough. Try it if you don't see yourself rotting in a jail cell. You will not dare it, Charles. You won't even dare. What is, what is wrong with you two? What is wrong with you? You think you're a man? You're not, a man. You're not man enough. Are you with that tiny, whiny, little thing dangling between your legs. Are you, to you are not man Charles. enough, Charles. Charles. I Charles. dare you! Charles! Try it and see! Charles! Just try it! Charles. You think I'm scared of you? Shut up! Wait, shut wait, shut wait, what? I'm gonna break her down with Wait, wait, wait. Shut what, Charles? Charles. 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 Don't allow her. Charles, shut what? What you have not done before, all your life. Please. Bunch of. We're keeping quiet in this house and this, this, this is just keep messing up, messing up. Who's an idiot, Charles? Who are you talking to? You are talking to you. No, you, you can't even talk to me, Charles. You can't. You know you can't talk and to me. And who the hell are you? I am Princess Pamela. You only talk to me. Go to hell, Princess Pamela. You get out, Charles. Charles. Get out. 
Calm down. If she do not provide my phone now, I am going to change your color right really? now. Really? What are you waiting for, Charles? I dare you. Do it! Charles. Charles, if you're man enough, do it! Charles, I can get you. You think I'm scared of you? I can what get rubbish! You. Charles, I can get you. Calm down. Nonsense! You think you're a man? I look at this one. Coming into my matrimonial home. Allow me to do Charles. Why are you even holding me? Why are you holding me? Let's hide. Why are you holding me? This girl is an animal. It's any joke. Hide, 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 no. See, she's holding my phone. Father said I should not call him alone. I don't know if the reason she, she, she called is, is, is serious. I need to know. I need to get my phone. Charles, I can get you another phone. And I know you don't want to get into her father's black book. Hey, stop that. Don't talk that rubbish, my friend. I hate it when you people talk nonsense about her father. Who, are they? Who the hell is her father? Who is her father? Her father is nonsense to me. Just ignore her. Just ignore her. Fuji. Oh, Fuji. Yes, who are you? Oh, good day, sir. Yes. Please, my name is Binyelum, and I'm here to see Prince Charles. Did he ask you to call? Not really, but please, I need to talk to him. It's something important. Please, I, I need to talk to him. He's not around. Please. He's not around now. Are you mad? How dare you come to the palace? Jesus. What audacity. You know what? You just wait for me there. Wait for me there because I will deal with you. Idiot. Crap roaches everywhere. See, 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 see. See, I don't know you, eh? But you have to leave now. You have to leave now. If you love yourself, you see that woman, eh? She tears people into shreds. If you love your life, you have to leave now. Leave oh, now. Oh, oh, the priest oh, is not around, oh, but whenever he returns, I will tell him you, you came by. Please, just thank you so much. Please don't go, 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 What name? Where is that idiot? Look at this one. Look at head. Black devil. Where are they? Monkeys everywhere. Crack crutches. Animal. Useless thing. Let me see her here next time. Then she will know why I'm called Princess Pamela. Animals. Insolent fools. Brother, calm down. But frankly speaking, this is getting out of hand. What are you going to do now? I swear, I am going to kill that girl. Killing her is not answer to the question. Why not you call me with my, my phone? I do not have the number in my head. Shit. Would I suggest you run away? I mean, run away from this, this lady. Run away? Yes. For now. Don't worry. I know what to do to Pamela. Brother, I, I, I am wondering what we are going to do to her that we that will make her feel it. I don't think that girl feels anything. Don't worry. I know what to do. So what are you going to do? What I'm going to do, right? Yes. I'm going to do something now. Wait. No, no, no. Allow me. No, stay Just back. get off my way. No, please stay back. Please. Don't do anything with her. You will regret it. Please. Please. Calm down. It's closing hours, so I want to go home with my husband. As what? And where is your car? Well, I stopped bringing it to work. Henceforth, you and I come to work together and we live together as a loving couple that we are. And what do you mean on that? 
meaning of our baby. Well, if you must know, I will not have another woman take my husband from me. And what are you insinuating? Oh, I get it. This is what it is, right? You know what? Meet me in the car when you're ready. Love you, baby. <laughs> Charles, are you fine? Charles. Charles. I'm coming there. Can you hear me? Charles. No matter what the will of God, so must be done. No matter what, if a chuku kuna ye menuai, man no propose. God will dispose. So who can change it? The minds of the gods. For the gods are wise. The gods are wise. The gods are wise. Because I wise, Have you seen uh, these people today? Sorry, sir, I don't know. Maybe you should check them at home. I haven't, this place has been locked for a while. I haven't seen them. Oh, for real? Yes, sir. It's okay, thank you. No matter what the will of God, so must be done. No matter what, if a change the minds of the gods. Because I wise, 
wisdom is far higher than the wisdom of men. If you do, I say you must say, because I rise. I be you no know, I be you no know, that the gods are wise. They oversee everything. Yeah. If you do, I say you must say, because I rise. I be you no know, I be you no know, that the gods are wise. They oversee everything. Yeah. No matter what the will of God must be done. No matter what if a chuku come yeah, man why man no propose God dispose man dispose So who can change it? The minds of the gods B We tried our best. We did all we could. Just take heart, okay? Be strong. I know you, you, you've been a strong person, you know? Just take heart. You lost your mom. Just tell her that I'm to sing of you. And tell her that I'm saying to fall door. You can tell she better find someone new. Oh, don't tell her where I am. Oh, don't tell her where I am. Take a message to Mary. But don't tell her that you know. Where are you going to? I am leaving for Kaaba first thing tomorrow morning. And when were you going to tell me about it? Never. Not like I care, but what are you going to do in Kaaba? I know you don't care, do I guess it? Charles! My beautiful name. You know I can make this night really uncomfortable and painful for the both of us, right? I know. So what are you going to do in Calabar? Going for three weeks, cuss. Three solid weeks, cuss. So you are just going to pack your things and leave without telling me, right? Take a message to Mary, but don't tell her where I am. You can just tell her I'm just saying about you, but don't tell her I'm going to. 
you can tell she better find someone new. But I'll tell her where I am until my dying day. Charles! Mary! Mary! Charles! Oh Lord, the sand is cold. Ay, 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 ay. Mm -hmm. No matter what the will of God, it must be done. What are you doing here? I told you to stop coming here. Do you want to get yourself killed? Please, can I see Prince Charles? Young lady, this palace is a danger zone for you. You shouldn't be seen around here. I know, but I just want to see him, even if it's for the last time. That's all. See, you're not listening to me. See, eh? the woman you met here the last time you came, that is his wife. She eats people raw. So you should, you should stop coming here. It's okay. Just tell him that the reason I've been calling is because of my mother. What? She's dead. Jesus. I'm sorry about you, girl. I'm sorry. But you see, Prince Charles traveled. It's not his fault. The last time you tried to reach him, his wife seized his phone and... That's why you've not been able to reach him. And the palace have not been calm since then. But I will deliver your message once he returns. I'm sorry about your loss. I'm sorry. It's okay. All right. Thank you. Just go, go please. Go. You mean she told you all this? Yes, my prince. Pamela. Pamela. All right, thank you, Ndukwe. You can leave. Uh, my prince, um, I feel we should not tell Prince Charles until he returns. He might be distracted, considering the fact that if the news had gotten to him, the woman's life would have been saved. Ndukwe, I never knew you are this smart. Thanks for your contribution. Okay? You can leave. Test me 
Mama, what happened? You just kept me open. Mama, no verse. You just want to make everywhere clear so that we will run our thing. Mama, I tell you now, eh, the walls of Jericho don't drop. Everywhere. Bam. The mission clear. Are you sure? Not be so. It's okay, okay. See, remember the agreement. Should anything go south, I'll come for you. Yeah? Mama, you know get issue. You know what I like. It's complete, Abby. Everything is intact. Okay, do all now. See you guys later. All right, Mama. No matter what the will of God, it must be done. No matter what the future could be. Now you have seen what I always told you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, she can cook for Africa. Their soup is mm, something else. <laughs> you can say that again. My prince. Bro. Hold on, let me attend to Ndugwe. He's acting like someone the wife is in labor. I will call you back. All right. My prince, I, I heard there was a fire outbreak last night at the village. So you now go about listening to village gossip? No, my prince. The villagers, they gossip. I heard the name of the booker. The owner, her name is uh, Binyenum. That's my brother's friend. I, I fear so, my prince. Ndugwe, get ready. You are taking me into the village. Okay, my prince. You know, you can't the how. By who? Good afternoon, officer. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I've been all over the places looking for you. Me? 
do not be afraid, bring along with me. Meet my boss, Detective Karis. Well, he has told me so much about your chicken pepper soup, and I've been salivating. I'm wondering if I could come around today and have a taste of it. Thank you, sir. I would have really loved to make that happen, but unfortunately, it won't be possible. Why? You don't open on Sundays? Oh, uh, I get it. No, it's not that. My booker was completely burnt down some days ago. What? <laughs> Fire accident? That should be from your gas cylinder. No, sir. Some people did it. My goodness! Who could have done that to you? I have no idea, sir. Binyalum, it's okay. I'm sorry about the mishap. Oh, I'll, I'll have to go now. Don't worry. One of these days, we're going to pay you a visit. I can assure you. All right? Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Who could have done that to her? Listen, we will find out very soon. That's why she's our friend. You shouldn't be here. All I wanted was to see the one who made me believe he was my friend. But you refused to see me. I guess you're here to judge or threaten me again. I am here to apologize on behalf of my brother. My brother wasn't aware of what we were going through at that time. I've heard everything you've said. But it doesn't change what I've been through. It's my cross. And I've decided to carry it. Yes, I know, but... I heard your buka was burnt down. I'm only here to... give you a lending hand. Please. Accept my offer. I lost my means of livelihood. I watched my mother's sweat burn down to ashes, barely a while after her death. I heard the villagers gossip, everyone pointing accusing fingers to the palace. They say the one who hates that everyone else is alive took food from my mouth to keep me away from life. Um, see, the villagers might not be totally right about this accusation. But even if they are, it doesn't matter again. Please, I want you to accept this little offer from me. For the sake of my brother, please. No. I will not accept this money for your brother's sake. May I know why? Go back to your fine palace, please. Vinyalum. I will make another enjoy any yeah, you're you're not bad guy. Now my way, now my way. You're a bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> you don't mind this man. Uh, wait, that one. Love me again. I did on that matter. Hey, hey, hold me. That one like me. You don't have fear. Then they had a fun fine boy. Who must see anybody won't do? It's what they believe. Hey, what's the hard guy? Man, I wait. Wait, wait. The Ellen Day has full time now. Yeah, she won't day before. Eh? She be she be fine guy. Oh yeah, nah. We should go back the book and I'm gonna see. Guys, see, more than reason this matter. I they feel like this attack they too sword in an untimely way. Like more than reason, I'm like no check at all. Like, why do you always talk like this now? Just young. 
Come, where will you tell you so I don't understand this guy? I don't want to talk about this guy. I'd be like a person who will sell us. If you don't say you repeat it, you get like that. Why you can't follow us? Go burn the cooker. What do they worry you? I'm going to take a look at you. You're crazy. Guy, watch your back. Watch your back. See, guys, eh? I'm going to bring that voice down outside with you. Yeah? Outside with you. Ah, guy, nothing. Nothing they happen. Anybody with full face go call it water, water. Now, now, what to you? But, bro, oh, sweet. Bro, wait. If I say this guy don't default for that ban, you check him now. She has not been girlfriend. Yeah. Uh, I don't understand this. Guy. Because you know this guy you do face these days, yeah? you do face and he pisses that girl. Ay, 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 ay. No matter what the will of God, so must be done. No matter what, if a trick will come, yeah, What happened? What took you so long? Look at the time. Why the delay? Your lunch took unnecessarily long. And besides, why are you so engrossed with roadside meals? I'm sorry, boss. Actually, I love going back to the street. What's so juicy about the street that you needed to go back to? Boss. Sometimes the street speaks. You see, boss, I think I found out the people that bought damn Binyalomas poker. What? Are you serious? Yes, boss. And the suspects are kids, right? Not really. They are some village touts. They are youths, actually. Now listen to me. I want them on your radar immediately. Okay, boss. I think we will need to do that together. We will. And they will all pay for their crime for depriving me of that chicken pepper soup. That's it, boss. Nice one. Nice one. Leave us. What is it? Pamela, has it ever occurred to you that you're a very wicked person? Oh. I know. And, and thank you for the compliment. Pamela, aren't you tired of this, your stinking, smelling character? Aren't you tired? Listen. If you have something to say, just say it already out with it why are you beating around the bush what's the problem pamela you've graduated from hurting and stalking people in this palace you now go about burning down the means of livelihood of poor masses in the community pamela aren't you ashamed of yourself this is how you're going to win these people when your husband eventually becomes the king of this kingdom. Is this how you're going to win them? Come on, Pamela. No. First off, what are you babbling about? Secondly, I have no idea what you're trying to say, so be more explicit. And talking about shame, of course you know I have none. Cheers. Join me. You're nice. <laughs> All right. Let's wait till he comes back. Promise. Are you leaving? These are actually, they taste really nice. What have I done, have I done to deserve this humiliation? What have I done? Have I done? I'm in no harm. You like what you see? Such a pity, darling, because royalty ain't for pigs, nor for low lives like yourself. <sighs> I hear the villagers akin me to your misfortune. 
<laughs> oh. Well, I am not here to tell you how foolish and mistaken you all are. I'm actually here to sympathize with you. Oh, so sad. Really sad. Tell me, darling. How may I help you? Because you so badly need the help. You do, darling. You do. You do. Mm. Well, I saw you the other day through my window at the palace, crying your eyes out profusely. Oh, that broke my heart. It did, trust me. But let that be your last. Because you're too insignificant to constitute a thought in my head. And that's why I haven't really taken into consideration what to do to a non-existent person like you. Oh. <coughs> Such tears of penitence. Oh, poor you. Well, I can see your arrogance and sense of destitution has beclouded your sense of judgment and blindfolded you from the help you should seek. Mm. Well, you know what? That's okay. Everyone is entitled. I'll just leave you now to wallow and die in your state of nothingness. Nonsense, idiot. What have I done what have I to done? deserve this humiliation? What have I done? What have I done? I mean no harm. In our cry, In our cry. my heart is broken. How dare you badge on us like that? Get out of this place! Your Majesty, you asked me to come back in 20 minutes time. Get out! Get out of this place! Come back. Car keys. Give them to me. Hurry up! Leave this place. Get out! You see this driving thing you have with Charles? It's over because you're no longer driving me. You can wait whenever Charles comes, you start to drive him. Is that clear? Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Can you do me? Let me see us right now. I just want to see us. And you believe too much. Gets to him and he spill. I don't care what he does. When Charles comes, Charles was what I put into this in the first place. So when he comes, he can as well, I don't know, start driving Charles or something. I don't care at this point. Pamela, do you ever take caution? If he tries anything, he will die. Not it. Yes, bro. As I told you, I went there. I even offered to help her. But she declined. No. I am not complaining. I think you should come back and go there and fix things yourself. Some days ago, mm, no, 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 no. 
I am not lying to you. I think she just wanted to see you. She has missed you. Yes. All right. All right. Why are you back on foot? Uh, um, my Where is my brother's wife? Where is Pamela? My friend, she... Tell me Pamela is fine. My she's fine. So what happened? Talk to me, Abube. What happened? My friend, she relieved me of duty today. What happened? Did you have argument with her? Not at all. Did she disgrace you? No, my prince. So what happened? My prince, um... I was running fever, so she asked me to go home and rest. Are you sure of what you're saying? Yes, my prince. All right. Thank you, my prince. I still wonder why you're covering up for that slot. After what she did. Just calm down. I'm a wise man, you should know that. You should have dropped it while it was hot. That wisdom is foolishness. You better go ahead and tell Prince Zubi. Chine, no, no, I won't do it. No, now, if I tell Prince Zubi about it, he's going to tell Prince Charles his brother. And that will get him distracted. He will lose focus. I know him. Probably he might come back earlier than he planned. I don't want to be the reason why he will leave his job. Doesn't that make sense to you? Mm, there's a little sense in it too. Mm. But you will not swallow this just like others. Yes, you will not. You must tell Prince Zubi. Anyway, eat. Let's see how it goes, okay? But the only reason I will not tell the husband or anyone else about this is if that lady, if she starts behaving well. If not... What's the meaning of that? See, let me tell you, Ibube. If you do not go and tell Prince Subi, Mwabuchine nyangwa. I'll go and do it for you. Ma, where? <laughs> you're not serious, are you? I will tell you. No, don't, don't tell me you're serious. I bet let's eat before they start calling I'm me. I'm so now. serious. So. Let's eat before the king will start calling me. Hey, Diamond. What? Get into the car and be quiet about it. Shoo? Who jump be getting into the car and be quiet about it? Who you be? Shoo? Who jump be getting into the car and see the entire car? I hate to repeat myself twice. Get into the car. Oh, okay, repeat three times. Get into the car! Eh? Get into the car. So you carry wisdom. Get into the car. Calm down now. Get Who into the car. I'm going to call my girlfriend. I said, get into the car now. See, but tell me you carry wisdom now, Oga. Shoo? Where will you go? Hey, hey. Huh. Look, Look at you. <laughs> You've changed so much. What have you been eating in school, my dear? I have been starving, you know. <laughs> Forget this look and this body. You know now, school environment is not easy. 
I am just managing. <laughs> My dear, I heard what happened to Mama. My mother told me this afternoon. Hi, this is so painful. Mama had to go. And honestly, it's, it's not been easy since she left. Hey, then the booker. What is going on? Eh? I think someone you do not know is trying to get at you. Actually, it's not someone I don't know. It's someone I know. Well, it's a long story, one I'm not ready to tell. I see, enough of me and my sad too. How are you? How, how is school? How is everything? School is fine. Yeah, no. I still can't believe why you came back to this village. <laughs> you just had two years. Two years to graduate. And for those two years, I wasn't able to pay my fees. Clara, it was embarrassing. You know, sometimes you just have to come home and wait until you are ready to try again. Oh. My dear, I know it's not easy. Now Mama is gone. Your only reason for coming back to this village. What do you mean? What I mean is, it's high time you left this village for good. Yellow. I know the grass is not always greener on the other side, but sometimes it is. You just have to leave this village. I don't know. Um. You, what are you doing here? Why did you come back? Hmm, my dear, because of eight months strike. Ah, the public system in this country is horrible, my dear. It's very bad. They are still here. This is very sad, honestly. <sighs> and Gloria, what, what do I offer you? I, I have mango. That's... <sighs> Don't worry. Don't bother yourself. I came to see you. Oh, it's so mama that you're here and don't worry. It's okay. I am fine. <laughs> I have missed you. Mama, I see you. <laughs> Just oh look my at God. you. Thank God for the nation strike. If not, people like you will not even remember to come to the village again. Don't even say that, my dear. I can't forget my village. It's just that it's tiring coming back home. Like, what am I coming here to do? To farm? Hell no. <laughs> well, people like me, I don't believe in that school of thoughts. This is where we are and this is where we stay. Right here in the village. I can <laughs> say that. You are now a certified primary school teacher. Wait, who told you? You've been to Yelom's place. <laughs> yes, I was with her a while ago. Like I hadn't seen her since I came back last night. Wow. Yeah, talking about Yelom, there's this rumor flying about since she got entwined with Prince Charles. Do you know that things are no longer going well with her? Um, about her mother, you know, her mother's book got burnt. So many crazy things. And I also heard that the cause of all this is Princess Pamela. Wait, let me understand this. First of all, who is Princess Pamela? Ha! You don't know Princess Pamela. Princess Pamela is the wife of Prince Charles, the very esteemed daughter of King Ojadike. Are you serious? Yes. King Ojadike. King Ojadike. I think I've heard that name before. The politician king. He is very powerful and influential in governments. Exactly. That's bigger than demonic daughter of his. Is whom Yellum is up against? Hmm. My sister, I'm telling you. Hi. Was she not informed? Eh? Pamela is a very wicked soul. Very wicked. There are not too many things she cannot do. Now I am beginning to understand the gossip about her mother. Oh my God. Mm. The <sighs> best thing for Yelim to do is to go very far away from this place. As if I knew. I told her. <sighs> Nii, where are you going to? Nice my to dear, again. I am just coming back from Yelim's place. I am oh, going okay. home. Okay, I am going to the market. Let me just rush off. Oh? We'll see I'll, later we'll in the see day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I'll oh. miss you. Oh, we'll see later, yeah? Bye. <laughs>
Hey, you, come here. Come here and hurry up. I hear Welcome my, home, my that's not important. I was told my husband would arrive today. Is he back? I don't think the prince is coming back today. The last thing I would ever do in my life is ask you what you're thinking. Why on earth would I ever want to share from the lameness of your thoughts? Which is retarded at that. Well, he's not back yet. You can keep whatever you're thinking to yourself. Take this. Take it. Take it to my room. And I mean now. Hey! As for what you saw the other day at the office, you saw nothing. And I have a condition for keeping it to myself. Just take that to my room. Roaches everywhere. Yes, Magnus. What if this guy is messing around with us? Honestly, I don't subscribe to this VIP treatment and approach you are applying on him. <sighs> Magnus. This is how it works. Sometimes people say to catch a monkey, you act like a monkey. But I totally disagree with them. The best way to catch a monkey is giving the monkey what it most cherishes. Oh, so by that you mean we are giving him banana treatment? <laughs> Funnily enough, banana isn't what the monkey cherishes. What, if I may ask? Hmm. You go find out. I'll tell you a few things about teenagers. They love room. Plenty of it to be free with. They hate being checked. They detest being garrisoned. Diamond, I told him I could have arrested him and then detained him. But then, what? even after playing the clip of him and his friends at the cafeteria, we still let him have the space of deciding his fate. You are a dictator. Sure. Hmm. I told you. He will come. A greeting our colleagues. So what have you come with? Well, I say my can't tell on the cocoa. My can't tell on the just within the ground. Nothing but make a tell on the truth. The truth and nothing but the truth. Yes. Nothing but the truth. Who contracted you to do it? Princess Pamela. What? Yes. 
Ma ci sta indosso. Bielon. You remember the last time I was here? I told you it would be a great idea if you leave this village and go somewhere else. Yes, I think so too. I remember saying something like that. My dear, this village has taken so much from you for you to continue to be here. I totally agree with both of you. I do. So, what is keeping you? Bielon. I think you should do something about this. You know, one does not just wake up and move to another place. I have no structure to sustain me there. No family, no money, no... You are just making unnecessary excuses. All these excuses have nothing to do with the subject you are talking about. It's not... It's not it that... It is! What are you saying? <sighs> Fine. You win. I'll think about it very well. Mm -hmm. Also, try to raise some money. Don't worry. I will assist you the little way I can. Me too. I will always support you. Are you serious? Yes. What are friends for? Thank you so much. You're welcome, You're welcome. You're welcome my darling. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Stop thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So, you insist on having me before you keep what you saw the other day at the Office of Secret? Well, sometimes we all deserve a pound of flesh. Hmm. You know that? Your That's highness. fine. What? I was only trying to get ready for you. I know. Good. But I think we should take it easy. You and I know that you didn't come here for slow, so let's just get this over with. You didn't come here for easy, step did you? Step by step. Mm, I know. <clears throat> Jesus! <laughs> Greetings, my prince. Why is it? 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 Why is it?
You have no single regard for the king to waltz in here with this riffraff, throwing accusations at me. Detective. Your Majesty. I am totally disappointed in you. You mean you brought this riffraff that looks like an opportunist just to accuse my daughter-in-law of this nonsense? Huh? I show me no disrespect, Your Majesty. I'm only here to ask Princess Pamela a few questions. Here with me, Your Majesty, is one of the youths that burnt down the booker that only served as the source of livelihood to an innocent orphan. And here he has confided in us that Princess Pamela here sent and paid him to do it. That I think anyone who listens to what he said can sense the truth and the fact that... What truth and what dumb fact is your numb core telling you? Your Majesty, the only reason I haven't called my father to talk to him about this miscreants is because of the esteemed regards I have for you. So please, would you ask these things to leave this palace this minute? Detective. Your Majesty. Get out of my palace. I will only listen to you if you come here with a verifiable evidence. And not this gibberish you came here with. Now, if you don't have such, I don't want to see you in my palace again. Now, get out. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but like I rightly stated, here with me is... Uh... All right, Your Majesty. Shut up! No matter what the will of God must be done, no matter what, if a trick will come, a man will propose. God will dispose. So who can change it? The minds of the world. Hey! Ebube, you won't believe what I heard. So, this is what royalty does to people. It put them above the law. Hey, so this woman literally burnt down someone's only means of livelihood. Yet, the king wouldn't allow her to be questioned by the law. Hi. Now what? Bube, did you hear what I just said? Hey! Hey! Why did you hit me like that now? Yeah? Sorry, uh, has it been long you're standing here? I mean, have you been talking to me? No, I'll be singing. So, so. Hmm. Hey, mm -hmm. I have watched you since yesterday and I've been meaning to ask what is the matter? Yeah. Um there's nothing. Just that I'm stressed lately. You are uh, telling lies. Lies how? Why would I lie to you? Ask yourself. 
Yes, ask your son because you know the truth. You are lying to me. Okay. Um, um, she? Come now. What are you guys doing? <laughs> Mze, that is not a good way to welcome someone you haven't seen in such a while. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. Oh, teacher Chichi, even you. Don't I also see you? <laughs> I don't even understand. Why are you always too full of yourself? Eh? What do you do, Buga, for every time you carry your shit that they go up? What's so special about you? We are on our way to your house, eh? And you're asking us this stupid question. What, what, what's all this? Are you sure both of you are on your way to my house or that prostitute sent you to come and beg me? Ah, Nze, are you still this way? Anyways, I am not surprised. Hmm. Wait, wait. You think Yelun will post her life because of you? No, now. You think her world revolves around you? Eh? What's so special about you? What, 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 what do you think you are? Please, what do you want? Hmm? What do you girls want? What do you want? Oh, Chichi, let's go. Let's go. Wait, 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 wait. Allow me to deal with this beast. <laughs> let me tell him what is in my mind. Oh, Chichi. What, what are you saying? What do you want to say? You. He's not worth it. Let's go. Yeah, me. Chichi, anger. Your anger did learn. See, I beg. Look here, both of you. I have told your friend Yelum to stay off me. What's in diamond on two ways, Skyro? Don't show sense now. No, I'm not working this way, man. Yeah, I don't understand the matter with this face. Okay, yeah. That's in his coming. Ah, coming. yeah. Oh. Bro, what's up? Hey, I'm Guy. Guy, you were sounding very hysterical about the phone. What's going on now? What's in the sub? Oh, my. Not this one good deal with an entire like this. How they tell you the truth? <laughs> I don't understand. What's in the sub now? This guy be game at Tabi Dawon. They say we could bring concrete evidence. That's strong evidence. Unless eh, all of us like this go enter. Unless we go fall in. I don't understand. Go where? Falling where? Clarify me. Jima, I understand what's in the sword. But wait to face, eh? I say, wait to make you follow them. Go to the palace. Mm. Make you be say you go prove that a princess. Now you run the matter. So what's it called the sword? You get a right to. But you see that thing there? Eh? Like King Solomon. Hey! The guy oh. carry wisdom. The guy say, they will pay anybody for street to come talk with my talk. You see him? So if we don't bring strong evidence, that's concrete one, eh? eh? We go here, Ramo. And the king, eh? You see, make those tell me no come palace again. Oh. Me no reach here again, I tell you. Guy, 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 no be serious, but girl will enter. So, Naga, but the question now, what you go do now? What you go do? What did they young? Now, wow. Now, now wisdom wow. go put now. We go apply wisdom now. Now, to go meet Mother Lizzie. Not be she send us. Let me call you, Diamond. You have a point there. You have a point. Now, the normal thing we're supposed to do, so, eh? you see, it has to be like this now. Look, we go run them now. What do they wait for? We go apply wisdom. After run, she say, if anything comes up, she go come for us. Now, something don't come up. More go for her first. Guys, Love you, so. Now, 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 I be you no no, I be you no no, that they go so wild.
Kelebe Kelebe Power If you do what you say, because I be you, no, no, I be you, no, no, that think of Sawai. Nah, bro, call this woman now. Call this woman. What are you waiting for? Can't you see that they've taken diamond? I hope you calm down. You calm down now. Not be sure they put cost so she know they pick. But, bro, make I ask you. What if this lady got a hint about this screw up mission and decide to abandon us? Nothing like that, be you don't feel soap now. That kind of matter, no feel soap. Me and I go still a try. The wisdom is far higher than the wisdom of men. If you do, I share you. Ah, 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 Mama. Uh, mama, now, diamond and friend, now, in the yard. I beg you, matter, matter, they grand like this, eh? You are on gas. Like, they don't arrest diamond like this as a young you so. Oh man, I just na 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 la like this na na. You just saw po. Oh man, just see make I enter one corner, make I reach you out na. Mama, I wish soon I go be out na. I got reason us na. Me we know the matter they be na. Soon I demand. You don't cut cut from my ear so. Bro, listen. She had better done something about this. It's not about saying I got this. Hey. Cause for me. I no go hesitate to carry this my two legs. Go police station. Go tell them the whole thing. Calm down. Small matter. We don't stop like this now. Your body don't. Okay, you know they tell me to calm down. You carry my. You get my. They tell me say make I calm down. Why? When you see waiting, they sob in front of us. They just arrested Diamond, and they tell me to calm down. Wait, make I ask you, what do you think they will come for next if we don't tell them the whole truth? Have you ever thought of that? See, see, make I you matter. When are the reason on I say this matter will scary like nah, this, eh? Forget, it's yeah, today study. On a day, on a day, put up for my body. Now nah, you don't solve. We need solution. Bros, calm down. No, they know they are pushing blame. Now solution. Bros, calm down. It don't matter. Nah, more come on here, beg. Before this will come. Beg, beg, they go. Nah, more, nah, guy. Come on, they come on. Nah, guy, come beg. I don't need you. Make we no do. Make we no do. Make we go do. It's too sudden. Not nothing. They happen. Nothing. They happen. My dear friend, you don't stop. Now everybody, now don't they? Eh, talk. Yeah, now wow. What did he do? What was he doing there? I don't know. Please, I want you to come with me. Please, let's go. Let's go. We just call Gloria as well. Yes. I am definitely not going to allow you to toss me up and down just the way you like it. I am not afraid of you. Even putting up a stupid framework with your stupid friends cannot change anything. You seem to be forgetting something, young man. I am Princess Pamela. I can decide to hide you from the eyes of the world. And trust me, darling, I will deal with you really slowly. And it will be painful. I don't care. You can go ahead and do your worst, but when you're on it, I think now that the prince is back, is this the right time for me to let him know everything that happened? I don't like being caught by surprise. I dare you. Try it. We shall see. Okay. Don't, don't you dare tell me to calm down. <sighs> it was your brother all this while. Just how much did Pamela pay him to do what he did to me? But he confessed to the police he never knew you were his sister's friend. Lies! That's a big fat lie. I know Diamond and Diamond knows me too. Rather than tell the police the truth that he, he, he was just looking for the next available money to fund his reckless lifestyle, he had to lie that he doesn't know that I'm his sister's friend or that the, the, the booker belongs to me. Yellow, all I am saying is that you should calm down 
Allow the police to handle it the very best way they can. Eh? I have heard so many things about Diamond's activities in this village, and I don't pity him at all. That's why I'm saying this. Shidera, leave my house this minute. No, 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 no. It hasn't gotten to this. How could you speak to me like that? Together, please. I just want you to calm down. As you can see, she's in pain. She didn't mean it. Please. She's in pain? What about me? Am I not pained too? It is my blood that is in that police custody. No matter what. It is my brother that is in that police cell too. Please. You guys should calm down. Just let's, let's. Yalom. Chidera. Yalom. Listen to me. I am not supposed to be doing what I'm doing now. I shorted you to enable you to tell us who sent you. And this is the most lenient you can ever get. You have exactly two weeks. Two weeks. Thank you. I'm not going to disappoint you. And you're not going to try to run away. No, Allah. You can go. Two weeks. Diamond, two weeks. I don't hear. Thank you. Bielum, ah. like you have a visitor. What are you doing here? Ah. How may I help you? Ah, ah. You don't treat your visitor like this. At least first you have to usher him in. Uncle, he is not my visitor. And he's not welcome in this house. Um, Daniel, I'm sorry I wasn't aware of all the things you went through while I was away. And that is what I've come to say. You see? You know, Zubi told me that he has already let you know that I traveled to Calabar for a three weeks course. And I'm sorry for all that happened to you. I'm sorry for your mother's death. Uh, we buried her two days later. Though she refused to mourn her because uh, her church for this mourning the dead. Uncle. Um, Bignanum, I am so sorry for all that, okay? And I feel so bad that I wasn't there to console you. I'm sorry. You do not have any sense of responsibility over me. You're not a member of my family. Uh -uh. Binyalum, coming here to see you is enough making him a member of our family. Uncle. Um, Binyalum, I know it's not my responsibility, but I still have to say I'm sorry. You know, I'm not just there when all these things happened to you. My son, aren't you such a guardian angel? 
for this lesson. Oh, okay, it's enough. It's enough. Okay, please. Prince Charles, I do not need your help. What's the point of administering medicine when the patient is already dead? Tell me. And uh, who is the dead patient here? Are you a prince? Um, love this. Eh? And uh, goodbye. All this for me? Please give it to her. And if she refuses? She won't. Just try and make sure that she takes it. Uh -uh. Why are you wasting my time trying to force her to accept the money when I, I can simply keep it? Force her to take it. Make her to take it. Right. Okay? Give it to her. one <laughs> even though if I force you to collect this money. So I'm tired of your silent treatment ever since you got back. What did I say I did this time? He who wears the shoes no way pinches most. Come on, Charles. I don't have such shoes. If I did, I would have thrown it out a long time ago. Go straight to the point. It's just an expression. Worth meaning something. I know. And that's why I said go straight to the point. Mean it directly, not indirectly. Okay, fine. You killed Nyelum's mother. And I will never forgive you about that. As if that wasn't enough. You went to their house with hoodlums to burn down their bruka and use your father's influence to hold the hands of law. Uh, Charles Obimwa, how long have you been musing on this allegation? Come on. I know you, you wouldn't believe this, but I'm innocent of all these allegations. I'm not surprised. I knew you were going to lie about it. And that's why I said, I knew you wouldn't believe me. But trust me, I'm innocent. Are you really innocent? Would I be this bold and defensive if I wasn't? You're always bold and defensive, always. Charles, I know I'm a bit crazy, but I wouldn't hurt a fly. Did you see the test message Binyelum sent to my phone about her mother's critical illness when you seized my phone before I went to Calabar? Uh, just calm down, okay? Don't tell me to calm down. Answer my question. Well, Yes, I did. Uh, but you didn't you didn't expect me to come to, to come flag the text message before you when it was so glaring that both of you were having an affair. Is that what you think? Unfortunately, my friendship with Binyelum wasn't that serious. Not to talk of dating. But your insistent hanging around her said otherwise. Do you know I would have saved that poor girl's mother if I had access to my phone? But unfortunately, you seized my phone. And that woman needed to be saved. But you seized my phone. Uh, I'm sorry she lost her mother. I didn't know. That poor girl came here, but he keeps sending her away. You even went to her house to mock and call her names. Ah, Princess Pamela, I hate you. Charles, hate is too strong a word. Princess Pamela, I hate you. You wouldn't want that on your conscience, Charles.
Uncle, good day. Hey. Uncle, what are you doing? Yeah, your friend is inside. Go and I, see her. I know. Hmm. Uncle, whose money is this? The place was here. Uh, yes, he was here. He drove down here by himself. Hey. That poor boy drove all the way from his village. Down here to say sorry and give her plenty of money. Are you serious? She rejected both the, both the sorry and the money. What I'm doing now is to split the money. Then I will um, I will give this one to her mother and then um, keep this one to myself. Uh -uh. You will give this one to her mother? Uh -huh. Ha! Uncle now. How do you intend to do that? Do what? To give... Hey! Did you plan this? Plan what? So who can change the minds of the gods? For the gods are wise. The gods are wise. The gods are wise. The gods are wise. They are wise. There, there are, there are ways there now. There are ways. What? What is it? Hey. What is it? What, what are you doing here? Um, I'm sorry, okay. Look, I, I I went out of line, but I was just overwhelmed by overwhelmed by what? I too am also overwhelmed because my brother is not completely free. You both should leave my house. In fact, what am I even saying? You guys on the road, you can stay here for all night. Jidara, please calm down. We are all friends, and we always settle our differences without raising voices, even when we are much younger. Please. She says she's sorry. Just forgive her. Then why did she accuse me of inciting Diamond to burn down her book? Why? But she has apologized. Can you just forgive her, please? It's okay now. Yeah, please. Huh? please. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. okay. Sorry. Say you're sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, let's go inside. Mm -hmm. You have come. <laughs> Ever since you got back from Calibur, you've been treating me like someone who has palsy. What's going on, Charles? And that is how you're making people in this palace feel. Now you're getting the link of how you make people feel, how bad you make people feel. What has that got to do with anything? Why are you justifying it with the things I do? How does, how does sex concern the things I do? Hey, bring your voice down, you might wake the king up. And who cares about the king? I do not care about the king or anyone else. Mm -hmm. If I cannot have what I want, then I don't care about everybody else. Then mind your tongue. You're talking about my father here. And I'm asking you for sex. I'm not talking about your father, Charles. And I'm not discussing about it. I'm not asking you for a conversation, Charles. I'm asking for sex. I don't, I'm not giving it to you. And that's what I want. And you I won't don't know give what it you're to talking me. about. Charles, you will give it to me. I am not I giving it to you. I said you will give it to me. I'm not giving it to you. You will give it to me, Charles. You are my husband. Uh -uh. Is that not the prince and princess voice? Yeah, I wonder what is going on up there. At this time of the night. How would they be fighting? Please, let's go back to our quarters. Or they think I was there. Let go. I can't even sleep. I don't even know. Shh. I don't have to beg you for this, do I? You have to perform your duties, Charles. You will perform your duties, Charles. Thank you, my first Thank you, my first thing. Charles! Come on, take it. Charles! Take it. Women and their minds were Allah. Eh? What you mean? Eh? Everybody knows that this particular woman is not normal. Don't you know? Something is definitely wrong with No, now. Did you know that uh, since Prince returned, it has been from one quarter to another quarter? And now this one. And that's what I want, and you I won't give it to me. About. Don't you won't give it to me. I am not giving it to me. Let's have to sleep you now, eh? Now, by first duty. Eh? Before Uncle? Why won't he do? Is he not his duty to do? Yeah? Or does he want her to go and get it from another man outside? Yeah? Something they beg of. Hey, do be. Hi. What are you saying, sir? What? What's the meaning of that? <laughs> I've asked you this before. Is there anything going on? Or has she hypnotized you to? Eh? Leave your baby out of this, Abek. Leave your baby. Or is it not your fellow woman that is not allowing the whole people in this palace not to sleep this night? Thank eh? you, my brother. I fear you no fear woman. Thank you. Ask her. The same thing me, Ebube. 
has been begging. And we all know that this woman is different. She's not like us. Yeah. Uh, She's not like you. It's the same yes. species now. Uh, same but now the same thing. Me and Bebe, they beg since uh, nine yes. ogre. Then they beg ogre to come yeah, come do. Uh, you will perform your duty, child. Okay. You will it. give it to me, child. You are my husband. I don't have to beg you for this, do I? Good morning, Your Majesty. Keep your hypocritic salutation to yourself. I see. You have graduated into spine into my room while I'm having a fight with my husband. Um, your loud scream and shout woke everybody up. And I was wondering if the, the prince now has a Calabar girlfriend because they are known for hypnotizing men with their popular charm called Komnomi. What's that? Well, it is a powerful love potion. They use in order to completely buy off his heart. I see. He, he, is that why he's been acting up ever since he got back? Well, that's usually one of the signs. Before you know it, the prince will chase you out and bring in a Calabar girl. Not on their lives. They wouldn't dare. <laughs> but how do you know this? Because that's how my mother was married. What? You, you, you mean your mother was a... Yes. She proudly was. Wow. I, I see. But why are you telling me all of this? Not, you know, just that I'm happy. If she succeeded in entrapping your husband's heart, I will join forces with her. At least then I will tell your husband the things I know, the things I have seen, even the one you are doing with your accountant. How dare your you? Shut your mouth. Get out of this place. You're still shouting. Try me. And I will deal with you severely. Get out! Pamela, Get out of this place! You're shouting at me. Pamela, you're shouting. Get out! Get out of this place! So that's all you got to say, Abby. Eh? Yeah? Don't if worry. You say, yeah, I will come. Just clear you off my road. Get out! Don't worry. Your husband must hear it. Whether you like it or not, you, you. Ay, 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 ay. No matter what the will of God, so must be done. No matter what, if a chuku kuna ye menoi, man will propose. God will dispose. So who can change the minds of the gods? For the gods are wise. The gods are wise. This is not funny anymore. Imagine what that fool told me. Then, if what he told you is true, girl, you have a big battle to fight. Big one. Trust me, this is getting more and more complicated than we originally envisaged. What do I do now? It's simple. Intensify your attachment rate on him. Know where he goes to, who he calls, 
his response. But how do I do all of that? Are we some <laughs> semi twin? <sighs> At this rate, I think I'll just I'll just allow Charles to do whatever he wants to do. <sighs> that 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 would just be the bottom line because I can't deal with all of this. Don't right. even try it. Hey, I, 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 hey, I. Mm, no matter what the will of God, so must be done. Now. No matter what, if a chukuku me ye menuai, man no propose. God will no dispose. So who can change it? The minds of the gods. What? Chinese said he stopped her from cooking my meals. Yet there's no food for me to eat. Okay. I did. And what's the meaning of that? I'm hungry. Really? Prince Charles, hungry. Well, it's been seven days, Charles. Seven whole days. In case you're not counting that you haven't given me the other kind of food. Have you ever had the saying, scratch my back and I'll scratch yours? What the hell are you talking about? I'm hungry right now, I need to eat. You're almost crying because of physical food. Yet you're not giving me the spiritual food. It's simple. Give me the spiritual food and I'll give you the physical food. Deal or no deal, Charles. Let me have the key. Your mother left a great legacy. My mother had nothing. What legacy did she leave behind? Cooking skills. Does that mean the food meets up with your taste? More than... More than my satisfaction. Yes. You know, Binyelum, Binyelum, your food satisfies me a lot. I like your meal. And I would love to be eating your meal all the time. But not like this anymore. Not in secrets anymore. So I want to make a request. If that is a way of you asking me to marry you, then you should know I wouldn't accept. I can be everything, but certainly not a second wife. <laughs> Calm down, okay? That is not a request I want to make. It is not? Mm -mm. What is it then? What is wrong in seeing someone you like? Besides, She's just an ordinary friend. Bro, you know we never lied to you. I think you should stop seeing that girl. That girl is the reason your wife keeps fighting you. There is nothing in that girl that you cannot make out of your woman. So I don't see any reason of looking outside. Vinyelum has peace. And she doesn't force it. You know, you feel this sort of peace of mind whenever you're around her. Though she's poor, but she's extremely brilliant and knowledgeable. 
I don't know why. Something inside me keeps telling me that. That you're in love with that girl. That is not an impossibility. I asked her for a request. What request? I hope you do not ask her to marry you because I will never support such. No, I ask her to marry you. Come on, bro. It's, it's, you see, I want you to marry that girl. That girl will give you peace of mind. Believe me. Tell me you're joking. I am not joking. I am fully convinced that she will make a good wife for you. So who can change it? The minds of the gods. For the gods are wise. The gods are wise. The gods are wise. The gods are wise. Listen, I hardly believe a man. Men are dicey and deceitful to be trusted. Have you been listening to everything I've been saying? Charles was seriously persuading his younger brother to get married to the same girl. <clears throat> Why would he do that? Why would he want to force or persuade his brother to marry this girl you claim he's in love with? I really don't understand all of this at this point. Exactly my point. You don't ever make sense from sensible things. What if this is his own strategy to get Binelum all for himself? Under the so-called, I want best for my younger brother. Look at this thing. This is not only Zubi and Binelum. Charles is there playing strong. I don't understand. And trust me, it doesn't make any sense to me at all. What do you mean it doesn't make sense? I mean, he might just have his own personal reasons in all of this. My dear, <laughs> opportunity they say comes but once. You just have to be right in the advice you give her. What did I say? I mean, I just want us to put our heads together in all of this. It doesn't seem so to me. I think you have rather been too unexamining in your judgments. But I am not judging anyone. We just don't want our friend making a mistake. Me too. I think she should accept his proposal. Yes, it might be a lifetime opportunity. I can't just accept the proposal like that. The person in question is in, he hasn't even talked to me about it yet. And this whole thing for the most part is beginning to look like an arranged stuff. It doesn't matter. You have been dealing with Prince Charles. At least it will give you an idea of who the younger brother is. No two individuals are the same. Even identical twins are not identical in their proclivities. Whatever that word means, my own is that Prince Subi should make the move and not Charles. Yes, for that reason, we have to wait and see how things unfold. Yellow, you just have to keep your heart and mind open, okay? Worried? Over what? I'm worried about the boy you chose to set free. I actually think him and his friends should be arrested and made to face the law. Marcus, why do I keep having this feeling that you don't know what I'm doing? Trust me. I'm sorry, boss. I know you get it right Fine. most of the time. But we have given him enough time to provide the necessary evidence we need as to who sent them. And he is not forthcoming with it. Magnus, that boy still has a brace of three days. Three solid days. We will give him the benefit of doubt. Which cannot send the benefit of doubt? Like, you know, clearly, if I say this woman, don't plan and keep for us. May we go jail, go rotten. 
Like, you know, you're not clear for your eye, Abby. Go me there, that time. Like, you're not clear for your eye. Bro, look, you too, they panic. Why are you overthinking it? Uh, see, uh, but I, I think, I think this boy, this boy, this boy get point. Oh, it's Sam. Even Diamond says, maybe you agree, say, at least for once in your life, you agree, say, are they right? See, leave that one first. See, eh? Check it like this. Police catch me, people say. Do my no show up. Huh. Even till now, you don't even do anything. Yeah. What do you think? She don't even keep to her own word. She, she just break what she promised us. Whoa. Not be betray her. You don't say her. Not be betray her be that. She don't betray us. Guys, guys, let's relax. Let's relax. Let's take a chill pill. The question here is, what do we do? What do we do? And I see this man. What do we do? Now to expose Anna. Mm. What else? Ha. We go go down alone. Ha. She go follow us go down. What do worry you? See, brothers, I think we have been a little bit hasty here. Remember, she promised us that if anything goes wrong, she will come for us. Let's give her some time, bro. This guy is crazy. We did the place that we already died finished. She said she promised us. It's like, yeah, what did they worry you? Remember the thing where, 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 they, where they had Lalis? Now you the chance me, sir, to the party. Now you got the chance me. What? Wait, 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 wait. Men are firm there. Men are relaxed. Sir, they had me now. What, what's it now? What's it going to be your own? Men are relaxed, sir. Look at what you're back home. You didn't hear what? See, uh, what you go do now, eh? I go send her the last message. We will give her to tomorrow. If no response, eh? You know what you go do? <laughs> we go find them now. Uh, Abby? I talked this thing before. We'll say this thing too sudden. On a, on, 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 on I say, the girl and my girlfriend. See the beggar. See the beggar. Make we no do, make we no do. On I say, my girlfriend. Come, come. So here you go. See him now. Wow. You are my house. Come back here. If you do, I say, you do say, we go what is going on? I'm talking to you. What is going on? Uh, where? You're, you're stupid to, to have given me that dumb attitude. Where are my clothes? Where are my things? The wardrobe is locked. The drawer is locked. I cannot have access to my, to my, to my things. And my phone is missing. Oh, I thought we had a serious chaos. You know, yeah. Is that the problem? Um, <coughs> honey, you have no problem at all. What's the meaning of this nonsense? Can I have my phone and my keys now? No. What? You heard me. I will not give you your, your, your clothing, your phones, or your car keys. Except you and I are going out together, and that's fine now. What? <laughs> Is this some kind of marital arrest or what? Stay out of this, young boy. Your brother is still going after that dirty girl. You're always so fast in your insane actions, without even knowing that my brother here is asking me to... To marry a prostitute and bring her to this house. I know all of that. <laughs> Such advanced and professional gimmick. What, what the hell is she talking about? Oh. You don't know? You don't know your brother wants you to marry that girl so you can bring her into this family and she will be close to him. And your love affair will be solidified. What is, where is this nonsense coming from? I hope you're not letting her use your mind trust me bro i won't even dare yeah i won't <laughs> pamela i need my phones and my keys now and right now i want you to start calling your father start calling your father now and tell him that i'm going to do what i have to do and no one will stop me from taking the bull by the horn. Rule number three. Rule number three, woo there. Nobody trends his priest, Princess Pamela. I need my car! I mean, I need my key and my phone! Now! You just punch your dick and you just call house insanity. I just told you, I am not giving you that khaki. What more do you want me to say? I'm not giving it, and that's fine now. Do you know what? Do you know what? Do you know what? That khaki now. Pamela! That khaki now. Go and bring it. What is it? Don't bring it. What is it? Who the hell are you, Pamela? 
father. But Papa will die. I'll father! Kill and kill your father. Call your father. Look, look at this mad, mad, mad idiot. They're, they're keeping quiet in this house for you and you're messing up. Call your father. Because I'll do what I have to do now. Lizzie. I think I just punctured the ferocious bowels of Charles's untamed insanity. You made me do this, Lizzie. You, you alone. Charles has actually threatened to do what I accused him of. Come off it, Lizzie. What if he me never meant any of it? What if I'm the one who actually pushed him into it? I don't know what your next advice is going to be. But trust me, if anything goes awry, I am certainly blaming you for it. With his brother, I guess. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Isn't that what brought out the beast in him? In fact, why am I even taking another, all this advice from you? I'm the married one here, not you. No, you, you don't get it. That's not what I'm trying to say. I'm just trying to explain to you. What? Liz, Liz. Bro, what was the matter of what you displayed out there? I guess you did it out of anger. I meant every word I uttered. So, you are going to do what she accused you of by marrying Binyarum? Isn't that what she wants? Then what happens to our arrangement? Who is it? Pamela's father. The lion himself. Pick his call. For what? Just shut up and mind your business. Alright. I have shut up. I have mind my business. Mm. You didn't like what I said. And I've apologized for it. Why are you still getting overly uptight? What else would you want me to do? Die? You know how much I hate it when you make it look like it's my fault that I'm not married. Yet you employ that each time you have misunderstanding to spite me. What is wrong with you? What do you mean I wasn't the one married but you? Because it's only the wearer of shoes who knows where it pinches. Why do you hate being told the truth? Liz, did you even know what I'm going through in my marriage? Do you? But yet again, you're not married, so I don't expect you to understand. And you're still saying that to me. Pamela, Lizzie, I'm not, I'm not saying this out of spite, but the truth remains that I am the one who is married and you are not married. And now taking advice from you has been, you know, coming back to me. It's been hitting me hard. And I feel because you're not married, you keep giving me the wrong advice. And what? How dare you? Get out of my house. Excuse me? You heard me right out. Out of my house now. Fine. Out. Out. 
You mean... Make your way. Pamela, out of my house. I don't want to shout at you. Out. Charles, brother, this palace has been filled with unpleasant voices and noises of chaos for a very long time. Tell me, what is really happening? Father, I suppose that the king is already aware of the things happening in the palace, for the most part. Totally agreed. But um, let me ask you this. What is the state of your heart after your wife? Why don't you see this thing going on between Pamela and I? It's not supposed to be so. We're never loving and agreeing to each other before now. You and the father. Doctor it all. <sighs> Let me tell you this. Every single thing I have done is for the best interest of my children. And this is not different. Farah is just for the most part. I am taking another wife, a second wife. <laughs> you will do no such thing. Father, I am putting her away. I'm taking a second wife. You will do no such thing. Second wife, then. And that is it. And I'm saying you dare not. So talk to me, what is wrong with you? I... I just, I just realized that I've been ill-advised all this while. By who? My... Best friend, Lizzie. She's been the one telling me what to do in order to keep my husband from looking at another woman. She said... She... <sighs> Wait. You mean... Your friend has been the one misleading you all this while? Yes. Who is this your friend? Is she married? 
No, she's not. Let me tell you something. Rule number one in marriage. You don't need to take advice from someone that is not married. Because if that person is perfect, why is she not married? Like I told you before, you have punctured the bowels of Charles' untend insanity. What do I do? You have to talk to your husband. I'm, I'm afraid I... <laughs> no, Pamela. <laughs> afraid how? <laughs> it's not possible. I know you. Come on. You can't be afraid. <laughs> Please help me talk to your brother. Talk to him on my behalf. My brother knows the rules. He can never take advice from me because I'm not yet married. <laughs> okay, that's why I've come to you for advice. What do you think I should do? Go inside your room, pack your things, make provision for second wife to come in. It's as simple as that. Be over my dead body. <laughs> Then choose part you want to be buried. Our family has a very big cemetery and we've not buried anyone there for years. So get ready to die. We'll bury you there. We'll have enough space. It's as simple as that. Hey! Wonder shall never end. <clears throat> I'm as shocked as you are. I think <clears throat> she has seen the Lord. She better be, oh. <clears throat> she better <clears throat> be. And she better be seeing him every day. I'm telling you. Please go before you Do not go against your father's wish. That will only mean war. My father is literally consigned in everything that matters about my brother. I wish to flip the script now. If you're getting ready to be rebellious against your father, the king of our land, how will this work? I have my brother backing on this. He's more than enough support. I don't know what... This feels different. I don't know what it is, doing. It's okay. I'll make sure you'll be fine, okay? Come on. Must be done no matter what if a chick could so who can change the minds of the gods for the gods are wise No 
matter what the will of God, so must be done. No matter what, if a chuku kume ye menuoi, man no propose. God will dispose. So who can change it? The minds of the gods. For the gods are wise. The gods are wise. The gods are wise. Afternoon. Your friend is not here. Uh, how do you mean? Are you asking me? Where did she go? You young girls have a word of uh, pretending to dislike the very first thing you are dying to get. What are you talking about? <laughs> uh oh. Say my only love to be. You're asking me. I know the teacher. You should be the one to play you with first by now. Yes. I made your favorite. I just had my favorite where I was. I know, I saw. You saw? Are you really going to do it? You saw, and that is what I'm doing. I guess that is what you always wanted. Hmm? Yeah. I've been meaning to apologize to you. Have you heard of this statement that says that the surgery was successful, yet the patient died? You don't understand. You don't understand. Okay. I accept your apologies, but it's too late. You know, you know we can eat our cake and have it. Anyway, can we talk? I want us to talk. Pamela. As you can see, I am so tired. And I need to rest. Please. Father, you have to do something. I feel like a broken and stereotyped heroine of an existentialist love tragedy. Dad, what do you mean I should stay here and build my marriage? How do I build something that is already broken, but already shattered? 
Father. Father. Why are you putting all of this on me now? Why are you blaming me? You made me believe I could get anything I want whenever I wanted. And however I wanted. That I could always have my way. Oh, no, please, please. Okay, fine. I'm sorry. No, this, no. This, this is when I need you the most. Please don't turn your back on me. Father, wait. Father, please don't cut this call. Now I cry. <laughs> No matter they tell you now, eh, the walls of Jericho don't drop. Everywhere, bam, <laughs> the mission clear. Are you sure, Bobby? It's okay, it's okay. Please, remember the agreement. Should anything go south, I'll come for you. You hear? Mama, you know that issue. You know what I like. You complete, Abby? Everything will be start. Okay, do all well, now. See you guys later. All right, Mama. You are such a beast. You are a demon, Lizzie. Officers, your apologies have been accepted. But what are you still doing here? Take this thing out of this place. Put her where she belongs. <laughs> You think I'm sorry for anything? Prince Charles, I'm sure you want to ask your wife what she was doing in the hotel with. What? Anyway, it's not necessary. Just do the talking yourself. Officers, please take me out of here. My sincere apologies, Your Majesty. Uh, officer, make her go now. Will you shut up? You are not living here. You and your boys are also under arrest. As we live here now, we are going to pick them. You all are instrumental to the crime. Now move it. It's now. It's now. Pamela. The lady said you have something to say. Mm -hmm. Dad, please. Not now. Please. Do you not speak for her? You and I know that Pamela has many shades. And it's very unfortunate that you're already falling for her gimmicks. Look, bro. You know I've always got your back. But what is inside me is telling me that that lady has changed. If you read the handwriting on the wall, you'll agree with me. That's one handwriting I will never read. Never. The dice has already been casted. Wait. Even me. I am confused. What exactly are you doing? You just wait and see. Alright. I am waiting. Thank you so much for forgiving me. And I'm truly sorry for everything that has happened. <sighs> I have accepted everything and I wouldn't have a problem if my Charles still wants to go ahead and take you as his wife. 
I promise I won't fight it. Because as it stands, I've already lost. No. You haven't lost anything. Oh, I have. I have. You and I know his mind is already made up. And I've come to terms with it. Yelom. I hear you have peace in abundance. Give me some of it. Please. I want you to be my friend. I'm sorry if I come across too needy. It's fine. We can be friends. Really? Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's really good, a kind person. Everything they say about me is true. Thank you very much. You're so kind. Thank you. It's okay. Well, thank you. Did you just say she's so kind? <laughs> Presence, my friends, Gloria Chidera. Hi, girls. My name is. We know you. I mean, who doesn't know about you and your father, King Gojadiki? The almighty Princess Pamela, the Tigress. That aside, what are you doing here? Gloria, no. No. What do you mean, Gloria, no? No. Is she not the reason your mother is dead today? Hmm. BLM, it's your memory loss for me. How you forgot everything? I do not have memory loss. Yes, my memory is quite intact. Look. We cannot continue to hold grudges forever. Never. And who says we cannot? I mean, I can't even imagine you allowed her to enter this compound and sit here beside you. Honestly. And you. You did not even think that God would punish you if she offered you a seat and you sat. Will you stop it already? Look, with the way you girls are going, I'll be forced to ask you to leave my house. But... Be alone. Gloria. Are you the one telling us this? Okay, Gloria, let's go, let's go, let's go. No, wait! I, I, are you the one saying let's this? Let's go. I don't, no, no, wait! wait. wait. Are, you, are, you, are you the one no. telling us this? Hi! I, I didn't mean it that way, okay? Just that you girls should understand now. Please. She has apologized already. Can we just forgive her? To err is human and to forgive is divine. Please. I'm truly sorry. Because I'm wise, I'll 
So much. Same here. Ah, uh, you look good, though. Meet my friends. I know you. Be alone, right? Do you know the princess? Yes, she's our friend and she brought us here. Oh, wow. Yes. I wish I could join your ladies. Oh, you, you can if you want to. Oh, I'll leave you ladies to catch your phone. I came to pick one or two. Oh, that's fine. Do have a good day, Same here. Bye. 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 Yeah. Are you sure you don't want any other thing? I'm okay. I'm okay. Say juice, ice cream. Okay. You know, I'm okay with yours. girls thank you thank you for accepting me thank you so much okay? ah, my princess we should be the one thanking you hey look at the food we ate eh that expensive food look at the outing look at all the enjoyment hm. who wouldn't want to be your friend <laughs> come on you're so funny but seriously seriously Yelom, thank you thank you so much for forgiving me Okay, you have a heart of gold, and I'm truly thankful for everything. <laughs> hey, hey, my princess, there is something I want to ask you. Feel hmm. free, go ahead. What is it? See, by adventure, Yelum here gets married to Prince Charles. Are we going to still continue this our enjoyment? <laughs> hmm? Is that all you could think about? Didn't you enjoy yourself today? <laughs> when last did you enjoy yourself like this? <laughs> yeah, I enjoyed myself. Chidera. Mm -hmm. Chidera. <laughs> You know what? That's a good question. But you have nothing to worry about. Myself and Yelom, we've made peace with that. Whatever happens, we remain friends. Mm -hmm. Aww. Aww. So keep having fun. Yeah. Yeah. Keep having yeah. fun. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, you know what? Let me turn on the music again. Yeah. <laughs> you watch another movie. Yes, sir. Another one. Mm -hmm. You're going to dance. So. Village style. Yes. yes dance for us. The one we dance in the Kwe well, It's your turn. Yes. That's something I said. You were disgracing me everywhere. How? It first started at the itch. You couldn't even use your court levels. Hey! Is it not a um, aku that I'm used to? Do I eat expensive food every day? That food that we ate at that place, have I eaten that kind of food before in my life? Eh? Which one is cut lettuce? The cocoa. Oh, wait. So you can't even use forks and knives, right? 
yet you teach home economics in primary school. What exactly do you teach those children? Are we home economics teachers because we teach children how to eat with fork and knife? <laughs> so, do you have to disgrace me in that way? Uh, Imagine the cheap, cheap and nonsensical questions you were asking. Huh? Gloria, please. Please. Next time, if Princess Pamela wants to take me out, tell her that you're not coming. Uh, yes. And who told you that she would want to take you out again? When you were behaving like a local champion, a primitive village teacher that you are. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Blame have you me. eaten that kind of expensive food before in your me? life? I bet be going. I'm going to look at you. I don't even have your time. I bet go. <laughs> Princess, I cannot thank you enough for all you did for my friends and I. Thank Come on. you. On. I should be I should be the one saying thank you. You girls made my day. Especially Chidera. <laughs> <laughs> that one. She's such a clown. <laughs> uh, I I hope she didn't inconvenience you as she tagged along. No, 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 no. Not at all. In fact, I really liked her. I enjoyed her company. And I would seriously like to see her again. <laughs> That's not a problem. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Today is like the happiest day of my life after a very long time. You know, I want to thank you for all you taught me today about marriage and on how to keep a good home. You know, everything you talked about, trust me, I'm guilty. Because Charles and I have been having problems, you know. But all the same, thank you. Don't worry. I'm sure you will have another opportunity to make things right again. Well, I pray so. But you and I know that you're the one he likes now. Yes, he does. But that aside, how come you know so much about virtually everything? I mean, especially things bordering on good marriage. My mother, she taught me a lot of things. And I love to read as well. Wow. No wonder you're so intelligent. You know, when Charles told me about your proclivities and propensities, I just felt he was saying all those things to get back at me, but now I understand. All the same, thank you so much. I appreciate you. It's okay. <laughs> you're welcome. Thank you so much. <sighs> It was indeed a good day. Yes, it was. I wish you can do this more often, you know. It's okay. <laughs> Let me see you. Okay, dear. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, wow. That was good. Ay, 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 hey, ay. Mm. No matter what the will of God, so must be done. No matter what, if a chukukuna ye menuai. Man no propose, God no dispose, so who can change it? the minds of the gods? For the gods are wise, 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 the wisdom is far higher than the wisdom of men. If you do, I say you must know, say because I rise. I be you no no. I be you no no. That thing goes away. If I'm a come. Please go call the other maidens, okay? Okay, my friend. Man no propose, God no So who can change it? The minds of the gods. For the gods are wise. The gods are wise. The gods are wise. The gods are wise. Welcome, welcome Thank you. How's your day been? Fine. Okay, I got something for you. Yes, I got this for you. Thank you, my princess. <laughs> yeah, and I got this for you. Thank you, my princess. Uh -huh. Okay, if I'm asked, this is for you. Thank you, my princess. Thank you, my princess. Where is she, Nene? Oh, she's upstairs. Is she okay? Yeah, she's sleeping. Oh, it's okay. 
Azuka, please give this to her. Okay, my princess. Thank you so much, my Thank princess. Thank you so much, my princess. Thank you, my princess. You're welcome. Enjoy. The wisdom is far higher than the wisdom of men. If you do, I say you know, say, because I'm wise. I be you know, no. What a good day, a happy day. What a good day. Where have you been? Happy day. What a good day. Happy day. Hmm, dear husband. I've been with your lum. What are you doing with being lum? <sighs> Relax. Don't worry. She's alive. If that's what you're thinking. Well, you're super right. She's very intelligent. She's she's fun to be with. Like she she told me so much. She told me a lot of things I didn't know. Ah, that is so 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 interesting. Ah, you know what, Charles? If you still want to take her as your wife, then I have no problem with it. Trust me, I won't even fight it. Trust, mm -hmm. See, now I believe she makes a better wife than I ever did. You're free. You're free. You're free. You're free. Just go ahead, husband. Oh, sorry, soon to be ex. <laughs> oh, it's a good day, a happy day, a good, good day, a happy day. Did I tell her to get me any gifts? She must be very stupid. Chine, don't be like that. We all know this lady changed. Why are you being so hard? She even apologized the other day, in front of us. But you just ignore her. That's not fair. Had it been she killed me? No, I'm asking you. Had it been she killed me, would she have come to my grave and asked for forgiveness? Huh? Oh, please take this nonsense out of my sight. Okay, Azoka, let's go and return the gifts then. I won't do that, though. I won't do it. I'd rather keep the gift to myself. And it even looks like the most expensive one. <laughs> Why will you keep the gifts? Is it yours? I don't know. Please, let's go and return it. Look, when someone genuinely turns a new leaf and wants to be good, any slight thing can take the person back. And it's not about taking the gift back to her. It's about the feelings it will engender in her. And... <sighs> I don't want anything that will trigger this woman again because me, I don't want to experience the other part of her again. You don't want the gift, Abby? Thank you for rejecting it. Nene, time for people. Let me share the gift. Just, just try and hey, follow her. What is it? <coughs> Don't you talk to me? You're rubbish. Ha, 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 Oh, you're confusing me. I asked you the other time. If I'm the one getting married to her or you. You are. But I always see both of you together. And both of you are doing pretty well. As ordinary and casual friend, which we've always been. You know, I've been waiting for you all this while to give me feedback on what we discussed. You and your brother sure do have a lot in common. Yeah, everyone says so. But I would love to hear your own observation. How do you mean? You stare keenly like you used to the first time we met. Oh, that. <laughs> you wouldn't blame us. We are such a languorous damsel. An epitome of beauty. Paragon of Ifanalo. Uh -huh. <laughs> so warm to bear with. 
I am always lost in you. So how do I make you find yourself? By spending the rest of your life with me. Yes. Please. Say yes. Please. Say yes. I... I can't say yes for now. I... Why? I have to speak with Charles first. Charles? Please excuse me. Nyalo. Nyalo! What do you mean, what do I mean? You don't expect me to say yes to your brother's proposal, do you? Why would you not accept it? Why? You and I had an agreement, and you breached it. You're still very much uptight and upset with Mrs. Pamela. And there's no way I'm taking his ring if you don't forgive her and take her back. Because both of you are friends now, right? Or what? That's a sight. But really, you know she's sorry. Please. Look at the one delaying your brother's engagement to. You know what to do, so do it. I understand everything. Now let me ask you. Are you still having an issue with him? Who? Oh. Charles and I? Yes. Well, Charles has not um, fully forgiven me. All the same. Why? Did she turn down your proposal? I wouldn't know. She said she has to speak with Charles first. Wait a minute. Is she getting married to you or Charles? That is the part I'm yet to understand. Yes. But I hope I'm not being used here. How do you mean? No matter what the will of God must be done. No matter what if a chukukuni ye menuai man no propose God the disposal. So who can change the minds of the gods? For the gods are wise. He's not there. No. They went out together. You see, I told you so. Lizzie was right. This was for both of them. All of it. What was all for both of you? Huh? I know you would never change. Same way you've been using me to get what you want. Hmm? And what's the meaning of that? Did she put you up to this? No, no, I, 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 didn't, I didn't put him up to nothing. He, he already knows that you're using him and that you want him to marry her so you could be, cl so you could be close to her. Th th does that really make sense to both of you? Huh? Zubi, I'm just so disappointed in you. I am more disappointed in you. I don't even know how you took me this far without me finding out. Gotch. Binyelum rejected 
your engagement with her. Because this woman here refused to change. But she promised if I take her back, then she will agree to marry you. But I still know it fully well that Pamela here will never ever change. You will not change, Pamela. You will change in Telaka. I know you will never ever change. Pamela will not change. Pamela, change your back. Get the bottom for where? Pamela. Are you aware of this agreement? I... I... I had no idea. Looking at all of you reminds me of how important you all mean to me and how you all contributed to the restoration of peace to my palace. Consequently, we need to toast. We need to toast to unity, love, peace, tranquility, etc, etc, etc. Etc. <laughs> yes. Cheers. Yes. 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 To one be happy family. Nice wine. Your Majesty. Yes, my dear. I want to use this opportunity to say thank you to everyone for accepting me back into your lives, despite all I've done in the past. Your Majesty. Yes. You are indeed a good father and a great king. Thank you for all the excuses you made on my behalf, just to condone my excesses. And to my cute and loving husband, I want to say thank you for forgiving me and taking me back in the warmest way ever. Thank you, and I love you. I love you too. You're welcome. <laughs> thank you. Zubi, thank you for putting all of this together. Thank you for giving me this great moment. I sincerely appreciate you. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, long. Without you, all this wouldn't have been possible. Thank you for your soothing words. Thank you for sharing your peace with us. Thank you for allowing us share from the bowels of your boundless worthiness. I'm truly thankful. I'm grateful, everyone. Cheers once again. <laughs> Thank you. Liz, can I have my moment now? Of course. I want to use this golden opportunity to thank everyone for making this possible, especially my elder brother, my twin brother. <laughs> he helped me found my tonton Miki Miki of the Chokoromus Abaradum. Oh. <laughs> the best woman in the world. I love you, bro. I love you too. Binyalu. <laughs> Achonki binyalum, bido tata, yuom bui bie bi.
It's time we... Um, I want to see okay. before that, I would like to say a few words. Go ahead. Okay, I just want to say thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you so much for accepting me, not just as a daughter-in-law, but as a daughter. Um, and to my dearest friend, Prince Charles, you accepted me when I was nothing. You've made all this possible for me. You've changed my story. Thank you. Ah, <laughs> my darling princess, Pamela. <laughs> Thank you for accepting me as a sister. Thank you. Ah, it's time we started devouring these. Oh, yeah, yeah, finally. <laughs> Before then, can we pray? Ah. Uh, Obviously. You want to pray to the gods? In Jesus' name. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come thank on. you, Father. Father, we thank you. We invite you to our knees. Come on, be with us. Amen. 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 Ah, I go for fruits. No matter what the will of God, some must be done. No matter what, if a change the minds of the gods. For the gods are wise. The gods are wise. The gods are wise. They are wise. The gods are wise. The wisdom is far. Wisdom of man, if you do, I say you must say, because I rise, I be you not know, I be you not know, that they go so wise, they oversee everything, yeah, no matter what the will of God, so must be done, no matter what, if you cook, 